Hello, 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 hello. Welcome out to episode 25, everybody, of God Forge. This is going to be a pretty interesting episode today because they're building a crew. So I'm quite excited to see how they do it. Again, exclamation mark cast in the chat if you would like to. Uh, let me just double check. I've got everything working. Hold one sec. Let me just double check one more thing. Okay. Let's do this. And yep, it's all good. It's all working. Okay. Exclamation mark cast in the chat if you want to see where everyone's socials are. Go and give them a follow and whatnot. Also, exclamation mark theme in the chat allows you to see who made our wonderful theme here that you're listening to. It was made by Tabletop Music Bazaar over on their Patreon. You can get access to the song on their Patreon. And also, exclamation mark Patreon if you want to check out my one, where you can see more about the lore and the world, along with all my homebrews and notes between each session, which I think you'll enjoy the one coming up for this one, because it's quite a bit. I'll unmute the others now. All right, guys, I'll start muting. Hi, hello, okay. hello, 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 hello. 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 Hello, How's it hello, all going? hello, hello, hello. Hello, governor. Captain, my captain. All right. Captain, my captain. Uh, no Brie today, everyone. She is moving, so yes. she was unable to make Thank it. Thank God. I mean, <laughs> Shut the wow. fuck up. What the fuck, Sam? <laughs> we are a not team. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> we are part of the ship, part of the crew. She'll be in the <laughs> chat occasionally, uh, I imagine. So uh, if you guys make some dodgy decisions, she might be caps locking in the chat and uh, and fighting back. So yeah. um, look out for her there. Perfect. You guys can keep your eyes right. out for her as well when you're looking for her in case uh, she says anything that Basil might give input to. But otherwise, hello, everyone. Okay. How are you all doing? Good. Good, yeah. Good, good. Um, has anyone got anything they want to shout out before we start? Um, Joe, not at the beginning. Come on. <laughs> no, I'm going to do it every time. I mean, just do it again. It's, <laughs> no, it's not. Um, if, if you guys have like a, like a charity shout stream out this bit. or if you're um, doing something good. No, it's not a bit. If you guys have like a charity stream, you're selling some new merch or something. I would save that for after though. We can yeah. do both. Yeah. There might be some people who join now and then they leave later. You don't know. You don't know. <laughs> Can you That's add true. a screen to the break screen this. for our shout out? I'm never going to well. stop asking like you guys. <laughs> um, I, I take it that's a that's a that's a no. Um, no, no. I, I, I have I have a thing I could say. Like, if yes. you want to be validated with having one of us finally say something <laughs> in this section, mm -hmm. um, I I have a coffee company and the whole site has a huge sale going on for this weekend so if you've ever wanted some coffee um from my company you could go and look and see if the sale is worth your while dodgycoffeeco.com there you go dodgycoffee.co.com do wait wait was it dodger what? i got your link wrong <laughs> this is a dodger oh, no. sale i can't repeat that dodger, dodgercoffeeco.com there you go um um, there was the Don't code everyone's me. now at the wrong website because Joe messed it up. They're <laughs> buying coffee from some imposter company Coffee right now. Co.uk. Wait. <laughs> yeah. There was the code that threw me because I was going to say co.uk, but that's like, oh, wait, no, no, co is the company. But, um, you ruined it. Uh, so, uh, other than that, I, I've got to tell you guys as well during the Tomb to Magnathor, there's meant to be this other section which you guys totally okay. missed out on. And it, it's, it sucks because you didn't go down one particular path. It was meant to be that you were going to go down this particular path and you'd hear breathing at the end. Okay. This great creature coming towards you, flappy ears, a long snout. <laughs> and deep in that dungeon, you would hear... A dungeon dog. A dungeon dog. Our sponsor, Dungeon Fog. <laughs> I knew <laughs> somehow this was going to turn into a dungeon fog thing. I knew. Look, I'm, I'm running thin. Um... <laughs> Dungeon oh. Fog sponsor the campaign at the moment. Um, they have done for the last couple of months. They are a map building tool, website based. Um, you can see them at dungeonfog.com. Over on their website, you can build your battle maps, your world maps. Uh, they have tons of assets, especially if you pay their monthly fee. Uh, you can pay for the annual fee if you type in the word Godforge and get 10% uh, off annual subscriptions. Uh, other than that, I use their tools to build my maps in this game. And today I figured out that I can also use their public maps tool, which I've, I've taken a public map and then I've shifted some stuff around and, and cleaned it up um, and made it more kind of in our world. 
so they have that as well if you're kind of doing some last minute prep or you're like come up with an idea at the last minute and you want to throw it in you can use some public map tools but thank you again dungeon fog for sponsoring the campaign homies sorry about uh the way joe promotes you <laughs> <laughs> me too dude me too um <laughs> so uh i've got the uh recap does anyone want to do it today me i'll do it and, okay i'll throw over to you one second mm -mm -mm -mm. okay Boom. all right take it away am i doing it yeah take it away okay after leaving the tomb of Magnathor, our party decided to head down to Steel Harbor with the intention of hiring a ship to Wolfguard in pursuit of our enemies. A brief encounter with some Oxfold wizard school children later, we arrived at the port city of Steel Harbor and began buying supplies for the trip. Captain after captain said no to our request to sail so far, but we were told of one captain, Yardy Heartbloom of the Scarlet Whistle, a halfling with a real big hat, and she agreed to use her ship as long as we find and recruit a crew and there you go we're in steel harbor it's a city over on the um southern side of Kessex. it used to be the capital of Kessex, uh, but it's since been kind of turned into more of a port city very well defended hundreds of ships here your job today essentially is to to build a crew now i built in a system i've created a kind of a little mini game out of it in terms of uh, all of the crew that you can recruit will have different abilities. They will have different stats and they'll have passive abilities and then combat <coughs> abilities. You will essentially go around and you can choose who your team wants to, who you want to recruit and, uh, and whatnot. Your 500 gold that you are paying will uh, cover the costs of the crew. If you pay extra, you can bring more crew on, but that will also bring in stuff like um, uh, cluttering on, on the deck. It also bring in kind of uh, the potential for two crews to clash, etc. When you do suit right. sail, there's a whole system to that as well. A crew quality system, which we can get into later, along with morality and whatnot. But essentially, oh, shit. you have been left off in Aquiana's Cough, a former galleon, huge ship that's been turned into a tavern and inn. Um, it's got many decks to it where loads of people are staying or getting drinks or food served to them. You're in the bottom section, and uh, Yati Heartbloom, the little halfling, has just wandered down the stairs um, telling you she'll get you a list for the crew. That's what we leave Sick. up. Sick. Okay. Um, oh, we I also guess... stole a hat. I know yeah. that that's not important yes, to like- No, that's story, super important. But we stole a hat and I felt very good about it. You anyway. Great about that hat. Um, okay, did we post, we're, wait, <laughs> were you gonna post something on the like, help wanted board yep you can do, Did we that, do as well? that already okay well yeah we'll write up a an ad okay. sure. sure competent ship crew looking lf <laughs> LF. <laughs> LF crew <laughs> LF ship crew <laughs> competent Need. it needs to say competent oh sorry sorry lf 5m competent ship crew <laughs> um Downstairs, just at kind of where you'd get the quills and you can write on this board and, and uh, there's kind of other bits of parchment. Yati's kind of writing up a list quickly. Uh, she's just going through a bunch of names and turning on a nail and then puts down more names. Um, if I get all these names for you, will you be able to do it all yourselves? I don't know. How many names are there? <laughs> so far we've got three helmsmen three cooks it's easy uh-huh no no you don't have to get them all but just you know see who comes three navigators okay three shipwrights okay. uh oh surgeons so let's run down a couple more names okay then... you technically only need one of each of these things is that right Hi. oh okay sick yeah and then I've got an idea for a bunch of crews, but I would say two at the max. One or two of these and get them to bring their people along and they can be my first mate and second mate. Jobs are good and... Kind of right. puts the hat Great. on the table Easy. next to her. Runs a hand back through her hair. 
Um, <clears throat> okay. So what happened to your old crew? I never had one. Well, she inherited the ship from her father. I was on my dad's crew for a bit, but then when he died, the crew didn't really want to listen to me. So they went and joined other ships and whatnot. Said I wasn't really captain material. But hey, I mean, you know enough about what's going on that you can write up a bunch of names. So like... Oh, I know everybody's everybody around here. But... Great. I just don't think they'd listen to me. So maybe... Um... Should we not mention your name? Is this where we're going um... with this? Should we be like, hey, you want to be on our ship? Don't worry about the captain. Is like that the angle here? I think it depends who you speak to. All right. I, How you, can you put a star behind the name of people? That that we should yeah. mention it. Who's going to be a hard no if. Uh... Okay. She goes down, you see her. <laughs> no, right down about so five sad. different crosses. Um, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> but they're all good. Uh, they just sure. might. They might just laugh at you if you say I'm your captain, but, so, but maybe you can convince um, them. You seem like a nice folk. Yeah, yes. you know, I don't want to. Um, <laughs> I'm just. <laughs> I think maybe when people said before that they thought you might not be captain material, I think what they mean maybe, I just, I know we've only just met, but I think it might be that you're a little bit, you're really nice. Like you're really Thank nice. You. Yeah, Thank that's you. great. It's less great in a captain. You gotta be a little bit more forceful and, and it's no not way. okay if people laugh at you, right? So you gotta like... I ain't gonna be mean for the sake of it, unless you think no, it's you a good idea. You don't have to be idea. mean, you just have to <laughs> be more assertive. Just like, stand up for yourself a little bit. Okay. Right, that's... Don't, don't You're giving orders on the right deck there. and somebody's laughing at you. You can't let that go. That's not okay. No. They don't get to laugh at you. It's what your ship. What if I said something funny, listen. though? Well, yeah, you're joking. With me. Right. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tap her on the arm and be like, like, this is a teaching moment right here. You could say to her, like, hey, fuck off. I'm the captain and I'll run it however I want. And you need to stop telling me what to do. Right? That would be rude. She's paying me. That would. You're, you're the captain. Me. It's your ship, though. Your rules on your ship is, is all I'm saying. I just. Well, you're in a tavern, I'm though. Just... I'm not on my ship yet. Okay. I shouldn't be rude to people. It's it's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Thea just kind of okay, goes like this, this a little thing. bit. <laughs> All right. Okay. Yeah. How long is to get through? So let's. Shall we begin? Okay. Um, Where can we find these people? So. I've got seven different crews here. What should we start with? What would be best to look at first? It's up to you if you want to get the majority of the crew and then go for the cook, the helmsman, the quartermaster, the ship, right, the surgeon. It's up to you. She just kind of hands you the list. Is there the list? Is there anyone on this list that, like, you really, really think is great and really would like? Yeah. Who should um, we go hard on? Yeah. Hmm. Well, of the crews, the ones I really like. Well, all well, seven actually. They're all real good. Um. Well, some of them aren't sailors, but some of them are good at fighting. Some of them are. Are, 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 are a little quieter. Some of them are better at sea. Some of them will keep you fed. We are good at fighting, so who are the best sailors? Oh. That's my thoughts, too. Okay. Well, those ones, she points the uh, crew smart, that, yeah. to uh, one that says Olga Rot's Breath. Um, <clears throat> points another one to one that says uh, Aquiana's Whispers. And then another one that says Fom Floop. Those are good. Okay. I mean, huh? so is that one. She points another one says Cadius Knits. A little rough around the edges, that one, but I've heard they're pretty good. So, I mean, I think they could all say her except for these ones, but they're bloody good fighters. She points to the top one, which says King's Pride Mercenaries. I know. Okay, let's just not get these ones. And then Sephira scratches it out with her finger. <laughs> just bear in mind before you get started that every single one of these has unique abilities. You will not be able to okay. discover them unless you, you talk to them, etc. Actually you talk to them. Rush them, everything, but everything has unique abilities to the entire crew, etc. So Okay, so it would be who of us to talk to, talk everybody. to everybody. If yeah. You, yeah. you can okay. skip a couple if you don't, if you if you find something that you feel like that nothing can get better. But yeah. 
Okay, well... <clears throat> okay, so... Where can we see them all? How can we meet them all? Where can we talk to them? Well, there's some in different places. So you've got this one who's somewhere in here. Some are in a different tavern. Some you'll find on the deck. Most of them in the lower tier, though. The only one that's not is in the library. Um, on the list, you would find... Uh, I've written it down awkwardly in my notes. But you've got... Um, I'll, I'll give you the names of the list. Uh, okay. And go through it that way. And then I'll tell you where to find them. So someone okay. notes down at the same After time. After you've read through. them off, can you copy-paste them into chat? Or is that not going to be easy? I can copy and paste all of the names. Uh, their locations, I didn't put next to their names. Um, right, okay. So... <clears throat> I can I can read off uh, their names to begin with. Okay. The crews, which you can bring one or two of. Um, the ship will only you can go over capacity, but again, it can lead to issues. You do get some benefits from it, but you also get some downsides. Um, you've got the King's Pride mercenaries. You've got Cadius Nix. Um, in brackets next to it, it says pirates. You've got Fom Floop. You've got Olga Rock's, Rock's Breath. You've got Dahlia Lesmore. You've got Ferris and Aquiana's Whispers. And you've got the bow, bow to the Mast, High Flyers. That's for the first mate and second mate crew. Um, I'll post those now. In cool. the section for the cooks, you've got Falamon. You've got one which she said she doesn't know the name of, but they are the chef over in Soggy Boot, which is another tavern. And you've got Duty, a turtle. Um, I'll, I'll keep posting as I go, go through. Mm -hmm. Those are the chefs. <laughs> the helmsman. Cool. You've got Adira the Loud. You've got Lug. And you've got Jebedin and his golem. Um, I'll go through them all in there, post afterwards. You've got Quartermaster Wise, you've got Yorbin Irrigatius, you've got Halio Erring, and you've got Quiet. Shipwrights, you've got Thogum Hogthrower, Iridus Anthelmore, and Globrith. And then finally for Surgeons, you've got Lanthin, Torinar, and Zelanis. I posted those ones as well. Um, Yo. The passing of time here can be like, you can go to in whatever order you like, and we can say, you know, you spoke to whatever order you like. So, um, Cool. Okay, let me just post these all to you. Uh, uh, um. Is there any way you would like to begin, though, in terms of... <coughs> so... I think main crew is the most important, yeah? Yeah, I think if we... I think That's probably we need to get first... First mate, second mate, crew, and then we can grab helmsman, cook, etc. Makes the most sense. One of these groups is like from Wolfguard. Yeah, they're sailing merchants, so so they might not be like yeah, they're not okay. Well, well, let's interview them. Let us check yeah, the, I mean... uh, the crew first. No. Oh, well, G wants to know their stats at least. Before you leave, um, <laughs> Yarty looks up to you and says, "So." I, I can take your 500 gold as well, and I can... Unless you're paying the 1,000 gold? Which one did you go for? The 500 or the 1,000 for ship parts? I think we went for the 1,000, didn't we? Yeah, I don't know that we actually decided, but um, I feel like... More just, money for food just means thousand, better morale. Fuck it. 1,000, yeah. please, for ship things. I, uh... Yeah, agreed, right? So It was what? A th well, it's 500 if you want the basics. 1,000 right. if you want a little bit more. I I can go and get some... That's... If you want cannons, I can get a couple of two-pounders. Cannons okay. are expensive, but I can buy ballistae instead if you like. But also, we need to buy food. We need to buy shelter. We need to buy a bit of everything, really. Make sure that everyone on the crew is safe and sound. And then also, I'll put the rest towards wages to the crew. So how much... It works, no? Would you yeah. prefer yeah, ballistae or cannons? What is the difference? Well, ballistae, they shoot great big harpoons. Whereas cannons are... They shoot heavy-duty, like, lead balls. 
propelled by some black powder. It's a little bit more expensive, but it's got better range in case we get jumped by pirates. I mean, I would... We don't. We can't get any big ones, though. They will be the smallest. What is above board? Mm -hmm. what, is, what is the range on a cannon? Like, is it... Like, could OLG just fireball a ship easier than we could cannon? So, <laughs> <Something>. um, <laughs> though we won't go into it this time, ship to ship battle will be done on a bigger grid where um, okay. you can kind of only move forward or diagonally. And in that kind of range, <clears throat> you're talking like several hundred feet. Um, okay, that's at, what at I the figured. Kind of closer end. Um, if you Even come if close I stretch to, my hand out. <laughs> yeah, if you come close enough to that. board someone, I would say probably one of the only spells I can think of is if you had like spell snipe and you had like Eldritch Blast, you could probably do it. Right. Um, it's more for that kind of combat. You, I'm for the ship water battles that, that, that might come up. It's going to be a lot of randomized rolling. Um, so you might never have one. You might have several. Um, it's going to be a case of which grids you choose to go into um, based on the information given by your navigator, oh, yeah. etc. Mixed in with some random dice rolling of people looking for you, etc. Okay. So um, <clears throat> there will be a unique combat form for, for, for cannons and ballista. Sure. Uh, Fia would 100% suggest cannons because that's what's on her mom's ship. <laughs> Say, let's go for cannons too then. Okay. Oh, so I can only get a couple, but cannons sure. are real expensive. Okay. Right. Okay, so what? So how much do you need right now? Well, 1,500 gold. Okay. We know that you're points. not going to run away with 1,500 gold. She's not going to run home. away. Where am I going to run to? I can show you the ship first so you know which one's mine. Oh, actually, that's probably a good idea. We should take a look at the ship as well as we get you your cash, okay. etc. Sophia looks at Skull. How do you know? <laughs> Have you met her before? Halflings don't oh, run very fast. Oh, that's a lot of, a lot of gold. Because halflings don't run very fast. <laughs> oh, have you know I can sprint real well. It's long distance. I bet that you can me. run faster than the fat bear. <laughs> Aww. We've we've also Incorrect. established that she's like way too nice, so I just I don't yeah. see that happening. But could be, could be a ruse, you know. Just saying, <laughs> it's not, but you know. <laughs> Scott, Scott, <laughs> Scott, Scott, skeptical. <laughs> God leans over to Sphere loud enough for the halfling here, and he's like, "I mean, I can track a halfling pretty well." <laughs> roll, roll a uh, one intimidation check with charisma. Because you're probably right. You probably could track a halfling well, so I don't think it's deception. It, it, uh, <laughs> Unless not, you are deceiving. I'm not even deceiving, though. I, he isn't intending for her to overhear it. I thought you just said she could she hear just, it. She this just not, can overhear this it. This is not being careful. Yeah. Yeah. Roll an intimidation check, then, is almost like a passive intimidation check. <laughs> okay. Unintentional intimidation. New roll. Uh, it was a nat 20. Oops. <laughs> No, is that... No. Was it? It was, oh, unnatural a 20. 20. A dirty 20. A dirty 20. A dirty 20. A dirty 20. Whoops. I mean, it's 20. enough to go... My ship's out there. Uh, I, I'm... Look, I'm just excited for the adventure. I just... We trust you. It's okay. It's on the cheaper end if that makes you feel any better. Yeah. Better cannons are going to cost you more closer to 10,000 gold, but we're going to go for some two pounders. You can really make some damage with two pounders if you're good enough with them. I, I've always thought that. Um... I've only been in one ship to ship battle, but it went well. You're alive, so that's Aye. good. You got a ship, so it must have gone well. I wasn't in my ship. Oh. No, the ship well. I was on it sunk, but it did go oh. well. We did some damage before we before we sunk. Okay. All right. Well, let's uh, let's get you your gold. Okay. And let's <laughs> let's see this ship. Let's Hell just yeah. gloss over okay. that part. <laughs> she uh, walks out of the uh, the tavern, starts walking along the deck. And uh, she stops after a little bit of a walk and points. And you see this great big brigantine. Uh, it's beautifully three, three masts. <clears throat> um, it's kind of got these kind of red symbols going down the mast. It's like red and then white and then kind of a red kind of crimson -y, like half moon. Um, and she points over to it. And goes, Just behind that one. And... I knew you were going to do that. <laughs> I fucking right. knew so, you were going to do that. I was waiting for you to be like, yeah, it's the, just the dinghy next to it. So it's not as big, but it is a schooner. Schooner's uh, two masts. Uh, 
it's a decent enough size to get a crew of probably 30-ish people. Um, it could probably be manned by about 10, but then you wouldn't have access to like cannons or, or quick rigging, etc. So if you, you can probably get a max of about 30 people on this ship. Two masts, a couple of decks or three decks, including the cargo one at the bottom, a uh, place for all of you to sleep and with little captain's quarters. It already has two two-pounder cannons, one on either side. Um, no other weaponry on it, though. And uh, it's quite a pretty small ship. Um, schooners would be used to kind of do fast travel between um, ports and, and merchant decks um, and, and, and missions like that. Uh, they're quite common in, in kind of the pirate era. So it's a decent enough ship. Uh, she's not She's not fooling. She points it. Oi, that's her. Scarlet Whistle. <laughs> she's very nice. She's very pretty. Oi, she is. She is. Not as nice as that ship, though. She points at the brig. <laughs> well, I reckon my one can outrun that anyway, so it doesn't matter. That Fair. thing's got heavy, heavy cannons on. That's a good thing about two pounder cannons as well. They may be cheap, but they don't weigh much. Right. Okay. Cool. So I'll, okay. I'll wait on there. Let's get the crew. Give good, gold. Good luck. Okay. Yeah, you give her the, the gold. She goes, all right. I'll go and buy. Don't lose it. Oh, don't worry. I, I hope I don't. Okay. I'll meet you on the <laughs> ship once things are done. You, you'll be fine. You shouldn't have put that worry in my head, though. Okay. Um, I'll see you on the ship. Just don't let anybody know that you have it on you. We will see you at the ship. Okay. See you on the ship. She walks off and goes back onto the ship. And I like goes, the visual of her, like, constantly doing this. Like, it's real. Yeah. <laughs> it's a real big bag of gold. Like, <laughs> if God I'm going, damn. um, if I'm, like, going on a, on a plane ride or something, I hold the ticket in my hand as I walk out the door. Then as I get in the car, I still have it in my hand. Then when I get in the car, I check it in my hand. I haven't let go of it yet. Yeah, I imagine she does, like, the same sort of thing, right? Like, she's just yeah. constantly holding yeah. it. But, like, wait, shit, do I still have it? Like... <laughs> So, where do you want right. to go to? We'll start so, with the um, the crew, right? But we yeah. have to find them. Yeah. So we I don't can know. Oh, right. Yeah. So, um, yeah. For the sake of like you know time travel and stuff like that, you can sure. move to everyone. You know, you just kind of skip straight there. So don't worry about being like shit. We need to get six in a day. Um, okay. Okay. All right. Um, <clears throat> you list the name. I get the location where it says. I don't think we do start with the crew. I think we start with the key people. Then we. Pick a crew that suits them. Well, first mate, second mate. First mate, second mate is part player. of the crew. Yeah. So then we'd be getting right, shipwright, quartermaster, and cook separately. And surgeon. Right? Am I missing somebody? Surgeon. Quartermaster, navigator, uh, um, and, shipwright, yeah. surgeon, helmsman. Yeah. And so wouldn't the first mate kind of. He's going to be, or she, is going to be the, the person. So essentially, the first mate will come with a few of their own troops. Um, mm -hmm. Sailors or fighters alike. Um, the second mate will be from another of those groups. Uh, they'll have lesser stats, but they, uh, you can pick anyone to be the first mate, anyone to be the second mate. Uh, whichever right. the primary crew is, whichever the secondary crew is. These will be okay. making up the majority of your sailors, your fighters. Uh, people who man the cannons, people who, who rig the sails, etc. Um, eh. The others so are we individual. Could do a, we can either go for groups that are well rounded, or we can go for a group that's like all fighting and a group that's all sailing. Like, mm -hmm. it'll just depend on what they're good at. Okay, yeah. right, cool. Should we just go down the line then? I think we just go down the list because we mm -hmm. want to see what yeah. everyone has. Yeah. Yeah, so let's. King's cool. Pride Mercenaries, they're up King's first. King's Pride, let's, let's go. go. Let's do it. Okay, um, you make your way over to... It mentions a, a converted stables that's been turned into a guardhouse. When you approach, you get to a building that has a lion's paw covered in thorns as the symbols uh, swinging outside. It says King, King's Pride Mercenaries on the sign as well. Heading into the uh, King's Pride Mercenaries, you would see it's kind of been... It's got an open training area with like an open housing... Uh, where they've built like a small wall in coming out of the, the stable itself. And a few people are just training on dummies. They all wear kind of uh, chainmail uh, and, and kind of light armor. 
and you can see one of them walking up and down saying like position two position three one of the ones sits at the front of the kind of desk area when you come in um kind of where you would sign off and, and, and talk contracts they come over and they say evening it's a human um he's got kind of a a, a long goatee <laughs> but bald uh kind of eyes that kind of squint towards you and uh, kind of a, a crooked long nose a tough looking guy what can we help you with wait is this one of the ones she put a like don't mention my name by no yeah i was actually she gonna didn't. ask no, okay <laughs> yeah, <wait. laughs> um okay she didn't put any of that by this one okay um all right uh hello uh we're interested in potentially hiring you for a journey all right uh a journey where to uh wolf guard it's a long trip watch us to see if he flinches um <laughs> it is okay i'll uh i'll get the boss he turns and he walks into the uh, the back room yeah look we're talking before towards the front desk you see a leonin it's they're basically lion people it's great big kind of uh fur that's been neatly combed going back golden across it um wearing far nicer armor it's it's more kind of like padded leather but it's been designed with their logo on the front um and kind of a cloak going over the shoulder which has been raised by like a feathered uh corner piece he walks out he's quite broad you see kind of graying at the end of his uh his long mane and he looks across at your group wolfgard i've never been me neither <laughs> Is this a journey by land or sea? A uh, sea. Hmm. Very well. So you need us for crew? Exactly. All right. We're we talking high pay. Are we? Do we know how? You think you're in a 500 gold pay... um, budget, which you can distribute how you like, um, but then you can give your extra bits in. Do we know, like, do we know if that's, like, a decent budget? Or are we, like, do we know we're, like, broke ass and we're just, like, yeah, no, it's great. And they're, like, fuck it's you, not dude, a that's not budget. Much. Okay. Um, to build the entire crew. But this is where D&D &D comes in. But it in. won't you be, like, make... insulting, maybe. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, that, yeah that's what I was going for. To okay. a point where you, um, it, you can, you can also, if you, because it's D&D, &D, you guys convince every single person to come on the ship for free if you're smart enough. Um, obviously, that's going to take some pretty big persuasion sure. roles, but it's whatever you make. <laughs> How much guidance can Timmy do in a day? Let's find out. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Uh, wait. So, sorry. Wait, he just said what? How uh, High pay? Yeah, is it high pay? Okay. Competitive? Hmm. What are you looking for, for a job like this? If we're going by land, it'd probably be more expensive. My men are better on land, but the likelihood of fighting and protecting us is higher. A lot of the time on the sea will be spent doing very little. Three hundred gold would get us a few of your men, our men. Along with myself. How many? Okay. How many men? How big's the ship? It's a schooner. Hmm. Six to twelve. You need me to crew the entire ship? The pay would be a little higher. Four hundred gold. And we can have twenty of my men. As long as you have a few sailors. Uh, Are, uh, if you're because you're pointing that I just just to double check like hmm. you guys aren't you're not like super comfy with the sailing part yeah you're more comfy with the like beating people up part we're there to protect the ship from borders got or it border the ships if necessary the way this is a privateer ship nah 
We're literally just trying to get to Wolfguard, dude. Then we'll be repelling borders. Okay. We can kind of do that ourselves. Yeah. But I'm thinking, why do we need some lion people to fight for us? We can fight for ourselves. She says this is Skull. She's also not giving a shit whether anyone hears her or not. <laughs> Might not. Perhaps you could. <sighs> okay. Could I hire you, for example, instead of, you know, somebody who is used to, you know, tending to a ship? You might get sailors, you might even get decent ones who can fight. They can't fight as well as my men. They come with armor, they come with steel, they come with training. And what about other crews? <clears throat> if we were to perhaps get your crew, the six or twelve, whatever it is, and perhaps another crew who may be better at ship things. Mm. Which crew are you familiar with? Is there a crew that you think would energize well with you, for example? Well, none spring to mind, but I can tell you we will follow the orders of our captain and our hires. Whether that be for immoral means or for safe passage, it is up to our employer. What I'm suggesting, so you follow orders? We follow orders. We will not judge the extra crew and we'll keep to ourselves. And guarantee my men will not Good be a nuisance. How, uh, how quickly would you be able to leave? If we By were tomorrow? to hire you. Okay. Cool. Sorry. Do you have any... Yep, go. Is there any, uh... Sorry, go ahead. No, you go, you go. Uh, Fia was just going to ask if there was any, like, special requirements they had or anything, but maybe you're going to tell us that now, so. I wasn't. <laughs> you can ask that okay. if you like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm just thinking, by the way, 300 gold, like, that's like the first mate and a, a crew, but we might need a, an additional crew, right? So, right, so we would need so, another so then, group that so, agreed for 200 then. Yeah, but then we also need to buy the quartermaster, a navigator, a shipwright, insurgent, etc. So <laughs> Shit, in, you're right. Uh, so in that case, we need to try and negotiate this 300. I actually think that this might be a good crew if we combine it with a um, an actual ship crew. I mean, they seem... I mean, not to, like, pick the, the one first off the bat, but if they follow orders, seems like a good idea. Um, but then we need to try and negotiate this down. So let's see how low we can get them and then and then go and check the others. Mm, I mean, I think, I think we, we check everybody first. I think we, we check, check everybody, everybody first, first and then yeah. come back and negotiate with people we need to negotiate with. But then we don't know how much they're all going to cost, and if we find ones that we like, and we can't actually make the budget work. But well, we, but we just ask if we find how much. which ones. If we, we hang like them down the and then say no, that's then we can awkward. Focus our yeah. On them. Yeah. Sure. So to give also, you, I'm pretty sure okay. that Joe's going to do some shit where it's like, because they're soldiers, our ship travels slower than if they were sailors. Yeah, that's the thing, right? Like we need. If you had just soldiers, definitely. Um, okay. To to really sail in a schooner of. At full speed, you only really need about eight sailors. Um, mm. It's just more so these are people to pack in in case there's a fight with a creature or another right. ship. Right, sure. Um, but he, Joe also, it, yeah. like, took the time to point out, like, we won't cause shit. Like, we won't cause trouble, which means we're definitely going to run into other groups who are like, yeah, we can run a ship just fine, but we'll, you know, yeah. we'll so, start yes. some shit uh, with Another people. thing to think about is, will the two crews mesh if... So the way that... Uh, I'll explain the system in foresight because it might actually help with the sh ship system. There's a crew quality meter and some of like the abilities they'll get will be de determined by it. It starts at four. If it lowers down below zero, every day the captain will have to make an intimidation or persuasion check to try and raise morale. If they fail, it keeps lowering. And if it lowers too much, you'll have a mutiny. And oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Um, okay. Different crews will have benefits based on that. Uh, but also the things you do if you if you have lots of food. They'll benefit under a if, mutiny. <laughs> well, you'll see. Um, <laughs> okay. There's some which might be less prone to mutiny. There's some which will be more prone to it, uh, but might be better in different stations. Um, but the King's way Pride Mercenary, like the gold company. <laughs> yeah, like in they're way, probably yeah. not going to mutiny because yeah. he's like yeah. follow orders. We don't care how moral these guys they are, are soldiers like... more so than sailors. Um, I'll give you their out of character abilities. Now, for the first and second mates, they get first mate abilities and then a crew ability. Their 
general one is called you and you um sakar which is his name will send two of his soldiers with the party if they request upon landing on shore you bring this one along you, you can bring two of their soldiers when you land at wolfguard or wherever you land along the way um whereas the others will likely stay on the ship they're in combat ability is as long as sakar <clears throat> is conscious his soldiers have the multi-attack function the crew oh, abilities nice. in combat these guys are considered armored um with swords and shields and spears etc and they are able to use cannons at disadvantage so they're not too familiar with them out of combat uh, they are used to rationing, so the mercenaries can choose to eat less supplies per day. One supply will last two days. So they're a little bit easier cool. to feed. Okay. Cool. Okay. okay. I think that we have all that we need to know. And we will get back to you if the, we decide to go with you. Hmm? Unless anybody else has any questions. <laughs> hmm. Um... What was the thing in between? Sorry, what was the thing in between? They have multi-attack and can't they can do cannons at disadvantage. I'll, I'll link this to you as well. Um, Thanks. It's... Oh, so they, they're armored or they're considered yes, geared they up or are, whatever. Um, they actually have armor and they have shields, etc. A lot of sailors will okay. come in kind of general rags and whatnot. These guys will be in kind of soldiers' wares. Okay. Okay, cool. Thanks. And a proficient um, in that. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, I guess we'll be in touch. Good. Go. Fair cool. nods and, and exits. Okay, who's next on this list? Uh, Cadius, Nyx, and Pirates. So, she looks at Fia. <laughs> Till Ted. <laughs> um, yeah, let's head out. It it's a cool name. That they are name. over at Aquinas Cough, where you came from before. Um, they have their Has own room. Fia heard of them if they're pirates. Uh, roll a streetwise check. I haven't done one of those in a while. So that was your charisma history. Well, you know what? That would be easy to do if I had opened up my character sheet. Good. <laughs> so this pause in gameplay <laughs> is brought to you by my own boneheadedness. Okay, character sheet open. What am I doing? Charisma check. It's your uh, streetwise check. Okay, great. Um, I... Oof. With a 10, I imagine you have heard the name Caddy Snicks. Wasn't a captain's name, but you don't really know much more about him. You know he's a half-orc. Um, okay. That's all you know, is that he has been around. He's definitely a seasoned pirate, but you don't really know his history. Okay. okay. All right. Let's head back to the tavern. Back at Equiano's Cough, um, you head on in, um, and you would know that they have a room over to one side. You can go and see them. All right, let's do it. Okay, so. <laughs> the same. <laughs> so. Knock, they fuckers. Do you knock on their door? They, you know, yeah, absolutely, dude. Like oh, three of us are like... <laughs> <laughs> We want to hire a crew. Boss, the boss. Boss. What is it? But like, if you don't want money, that's fine. Get the we can yeah, door. somewhere else. You hear the, you hear like rushing and someone <laughs> swings open the door, and it's a kind of a, a very small coins. little uh, guy with like a lot of gold, kind of curls in his lips of like jewelry, and a few in his ear. He looks up. He's wearing kind of a little bandana. He looks like a stereotypical pirate. This guy, he's, yes. but he's only small. He's 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 clearly Does he like have a, a gnome. Peg leg? Uh, no, he's a gnome though. And he looks up and he goes, "Come on then," and he walks back in, and around like a larger <clears> table, <throat> you've got about eight men. Uh, all playing um, uh, like a card game of, uh, and mixing in with dice rolls as well. And they play along. You see the one that he referred to as uh, a boss is this kind of larger, broader chest, uh, slightly overweight half orc who has kind of a, a twisting beard around his mouth, uh, dreaded hair going down to his shoulders, um, this kind of deep green skin. His tusks are long. He looks more like an orc than a half orc. Looks up. Ah. So you want to hire a crew? Good. Where are you going? We do. Wolfguard. 
stares intently. Where the fuck are you going through there? Business? Does it matter? No. We hear it's nice this time of year. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hear it was nice, but I agree to you. All right. Well, Cadius nicks at your service. And these are my men. Say hello. Hello. Hey, 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 yeah, but they open the hands <laughs> and they can't get back to gambling. Take my place. What are you playing? Two cards. How do you play? You want to play? Oh. She looks at um, Fabia. You should play Fabia. Thinking oh, that Fabia nah. might be able to do some sleight of hand stuff. I'll, I'll, nah, I'm good. I'll stand back and she'll she'll message. Uh, she'll message to Safira and say, but if you want to play, I'll help you out. Okay, I will play. She takes a seat. All right, come ahead and play. But before we play. What mm -hmm. is your rate for a trip to Wolfgard? Trip to Wolfgard? Merchant vessel or? Uh, schooner. Schooner? Currently in port. Wait, did he, did she put a cross by this one? Yes. <laughs> Great, then she just says schooner. <laughs> That's it. Which ship? Does it matter? Yes. Oh, it was some fancy-looking one outside. I don't remember the name. Uh, who's the captain? Excuse was there me. a star next to this name? Yeah, yeah there was. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Hi. <laughs> yes. Oh, shit, Skull. Probably deception check, Skull. All right. I like it. Come We're on. We're just gonna, gotta keep the captain hidden now. <laughs> um, I want to sort of brush against Skull's leg and mutter under my breath a guidance on him real quick. Okay. <clears throat> you got guidance, so. 13. No offense to you, but you don't look much of a captain, but hey, who am I the judge? Who's it you matter? Ever... Captain... Who's it matter the captain is? Have you ever uh, sailed uh, to Pennytown? She's gonna ask. I have. Often. Often. Okay. As a um, merchant, though. I'm as a merchant, of course. Yeah, there's a lot of merchants that travel in and out of Pennytown. Mm. It's it's a real merchant well, like, sort of... Yeah. I like to do business with the locals <laughs> of the area. The pirates, though. Huh. What a problem. No. Have Back you, to uh, the uh, conversation at hand. Have... Sorry, I didn't hear you speaking there. Sorry, guys. No, that, that's okay. Um... So, in all the time that you were in Pennytown, um, did you ever see uh, uh, a giant brigantine um, scarlet sails with a, a bird in flight on the on the sail? Have you ever heard of um, the skua by chance? Most merchants have. Most merchants have, that's true. Um, have you heard of the skua's captain? Again, ship is just half the battle. The captain is the other half, of course. So, you, so you've heard of Desra, then? Of course. Of course. Um, well, the ship that we're taking isn't uh, Desra's ship, because of course she captain her own ship. Okay. But um, we're on the way to meet her, and um, I'm her daughter. Roll a persuasion check. Come on. Come on. I'd say with advantage because you brought up Desra. Okay. Dude, she just name dropped her mom. What a fucking loser. <laughs> oh, loser. No! 26. A loser that rolls well, though. <laughs> Guess we have my mom to cheating cards now. <laughs> Fabia's <is> disappointed. <laughs> Daughter of Tesla. I'll do it. play cards. <laughs> and you vouch for this captain as well. Okay. You. Okay. Okay. What is your rate now that you know this? Pay me enough to feed my men. Take a prize on the way. 
Tell your mother how good of a pirate I am. Nods. And I'll do it for that much. Practically free. Practically free. But we take free. one prize. Just to show off. Do we have a deal? We don't make any deals yet. We let you know. Hmm, okay. So no way to find me. Just... We'll be in touch. Right. Good. Good. All right. Hey. Well, Fabio like Fabio like emerges from the shadows. Like, uh, all right, are we are we going? <laughs> Dang it! Yeah. And then looks at all of the people that are around the, the table. Like, huh? I'll be coming back for you. <laughs> <laughs> so we hire them. Fabia and and she sounds like. We hire them now just so you guys can play cards every night while we're, like, <laughs> at sea. How do they always win? <laughs> so infuriating! I don't even get so, it. Uh, lower, so then we get a mutiny because we keep winning. <laughs> so, there of character abilities, you have gold cures all. When zero or below crew quality, you can pay these guys 1d100 plus 10 gold to ignore it and go back to one. Every time this oh, occurs, it, it increases that. by 1d100. Um, so you basically pay off their, uh, their annoyance. In combat, uh, Caddis Nix has the reckless attack ability, whilst conscious, so do all of his crew. The crew ability, in combat, they use cutlasses, daggers, no armor, uh, short swords, etc. They're able to operate cannons. If they're the first to fire cannons in ship-to-ship -ship combat, they have advantage and can double the length of the shot. And critical hits with a cannon are on a 19 and a 20. Out of combat, crew quality can be increased with immoral actions such as plundering and debauchery. So, if you want to, it, whereas other crews might not have that, they have an access to a kind of an immoral increasing um, system. Okay. okay. <clears throat> of course, we would have to tell this lovely young halfling captain, like, "Hey, what's up? We hired some pirates. We just have to raid something on the way. I hope you're okay with that." <laughs> and yeah, and it'll be it's fine. It's gonna it'll be, be good. fine. We'll just do something small. A ship that looks like a bunch of dicks are running it. It'll be fine. <laughs> we okay. Let's mm. attack other pirates. Okay. Yeah, right. <laughs> Some floop and the, the fisher folk, Safira says. To okay. the next. You can find mm. them out on the docks. Um, they're on their own fishing boat area. You kind of come out onto the docks area and you'd find um, outside, you'd see kind of just fish being unloaded from a different merchant vessel and a bunch of halflings doing it. And they, they do the system where they one takes a, uh, a box, they pass the next one, pass the next one, pass the next one. And it's a really efficient system where they're just passing them all down. And you can see them getting loads of fish. Um, you can tell the one who's in charge because he's actually a little bit taller than the rest. Um, he's bald, he's got a curly moustache, no other hair. And uh, he's kind of laughing. Good job, boys. That's right. We did it. Good. Okay. Go back to the tavern, get yourselves a drink each on me, and uh, we'll go back out tomorrow. Okay. He just dusts off his hands, he smells the fish, and he just smiles over it. Turns and looks at you. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. Hello. We're uh, we're looking to hire a crew, and um, your name is oh. on our list. Has it been marked? Don't talk about the captain. Absolutely not. It's got a tick next to it. Oh, oh, she likes them. Okay. Um... We're, yeah, we're looking to hire a crew to go to Wolfguard. Oh. St stares intently. That's a long way. <laughs> it okay. is a long way. <laughs> All right. Well, my crew's available. Are you fisher folk? Looks no, at gold. Just... Oh. <laughs> I mean, oh, yes. Just... <laughs> Every now and again, right? <laughs> on occasion? Oh. Okay. He says stuff. on occasion. This dude literally fishes every day. He go all no, the time. Fish all the time. So do He's I. Really good fish. at it. Oh, so do I. So do I. Fun floop. He holds that hand to you. Skull. 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 A fishy hand. You take his hand. He's just holding yeah, it. Yeah, I'll shake his hand. Okay, yeah. Oh, strong grip. Good for that. Good for that. <laughs> okay. Wolf guard. I mean, I've never been. It's a long way. But, uh,. Sure. A little bit about your crew and yourself. Oh, they're the best fisher folk. We used to be up in Oldbridge. We pulled away, went independent. 
earned more money that way we did. So uh, we've been Smart. down here fishing for a while now. We uh, we risk the seas. You know, we're pretty quick on the ship. So we uh, we avoid pirates and other nasty things. But uh, we ain't no river fishing folk anymore. We're sea worthy. That's right. <laughs> He's so cute. Okay. Um, okay. How much would it cost to hire you? Uh, the wolf guard. 150 gold, probably, to pay all the boys. Depends how many you need. You need to crew the entire ship, but closer to 200. You need to crew just half of it or so. 125, 150. <laughs> Did we tell him what kind of ship? No. <laughs> he hasn't even asked. You didn't even ask. He just was excited. <laughs> okay. The ship's not that large. Okay. What are we talking? Sloop? Uh, it's a schooner. It's the uh, Scarlet oh. Whistle. Yachty ship. She's actually taken out for once. Oh. Yeah, yeah. We've, uh, we've hired her. Okay. She's cute, right? She's the best. We uh we we often catch up with her, tell her our adventures. They're not that exciting, so we sometimes fluff them up a bit. But uh oh, I love these we guys. We didn't They're think so that cute. she'd be able to go out in the sea. She's never had a crew. Well, Would she's like gonna get one now. Would love to serve under her. Oh <laughs> we ain't no fighters. I should warn you of that. If we're gonna get attacked, we're gonna run. What Unless... do you recommend then? How about if we took perhaps Half of the crew, we take of fighters, and half of your crew. Would that be something that would work with you? Keep us safe, that sounds good to me. I'm and how good are you on managing the crew? You know, you guys, I imagine that you're very good at catching fish, but how are you in sailing? Oh, we're great sailors. I, Yeah, we, we're great sailors. Uh, and we're pretty content most of the time as well. Whatever you need, we'll go along with it. Well. Sounds great. Well... Well, yeah, he's no pirate, so. Oh, yeah, you wouldn't. Yeah, yeah. We're just fisher folk. We ain't looking for no sure. trouble. Not with no Kessex, not with no Wolf Guard, not with no Westmore. And if if trouble were to find you? We, I mean, uh, we don't well, we take care of the trouble. We would do yeah. that. I can throw a couple of my boys in, but we ain't, we ain't proper sure. fighters. You know, I'll okay. handle the I'll handle the fire. Okay, and we handle the fish. Keep you fed. How about a um? Scott's eyes go wide. Like <laughs> what? That sealed the fucking deal. <laughs> How about a, uh, a friendly wager. Okay. Just to maybe uh get a little discount on the price. Okay. Perhaps you have a little um fish off with scald here. Whoever catches the best fish. Okay. We could give you some You're gold, in the dock? or you can give us a discount. Hmm? Oh, okay. She looks at Skull to see if he would be interested in doing something like that. A fish off. <laughs> what do you think about that, Skull? Like. Just name the place. End of the dot there. There's some small school of fish that might wander around these parts. I could catch them at least. I'll let you, big fella. <laughs> it waters the turns. If you catch the fish, we give you some gold, and if not, then you take it off at the price, hmm? Okay. What would be a fair amount? She looks at Scald. So it says it's a schooner, and you only need about six of us. Maybe ten of us. Okay, let's say that the... My price before is 150, so say it's 100. If I win, you pay the 150. I lose, we'll do it for 70. Bad. Not bad. Come on, you old bear. She like, she like squeezes his arm like a wrestling yeah. coach. Like, come on. She pulls like a small towel out from like a bag, yeah, right? You know, right. like the yeah. Squeezy water in his face. Come on. I'm not old in my prime. <laughs> Wait, what did he say? I'm not, not old. old. I'm in my prime. Oh. Sapphire what? gives him a, a nice clap on the back. He walks to oh, the end of the dock. And uh, starts pulling out from his belt uh, a fishing rod. A very nice one, actually. And oh, starts no. banging it up. And uh, readies with the reel. 
Looks like what you scored. Your move. I'm a. You kind of fucked me here. I don't have a fishing rod. Uh. Goldfish is in his okay. own way. Better jump yeah. in. Yeah, jump not in, in the, the not in the fucking ocean. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I mean, he said where, and you and you know, you said you said he could go where. You could have gone to like a little river opening, but. <laughs> All right, I'll jump in the water. Okay. <laughs> um, and I guess I I'll it. giants might. Okay. Like, You're so oh, in the ocean. Hell. <laughs> uh, <laughs> nice. Yeah, I would say <laughs> in this section you are now. Um because it's kind of the smaller fisher boats, it's the shallower part of the dock. So yeah, you'd be able to, it'd be up to like the high end of your chest. Um, but yeah, you'd probably be able to stand at this point. Um, 70 gold, baby. <laughs> okay. Let's do this. All right. So. And. We'll do uh, a survival. We'll do three survival checks. The first one. Um, and then whichever fish you get out of there is, is, is bigger. Uh, we'll say a 10 will catch a fish. A 15 will uh, get a decent sized fish. A 20 will get a big fish. And anything over that, um, you know, it's just. We get a. Um, c can we get a, a basil? You can yeah, do basil it. Would, uh, yeah, okay, yeah. Would give a... You've got What's it, Scold. Go for it. Um, <laughs> Sun glints on his yeah, body. Inspiration, that's what I was like. oh. So you get inspiration. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I will openly roll this guy, but I will say does have advantage and a plus seven um all right because yeah. this is his craft um how does the throw skull the guidance too then okay go for it that's his first roll um but this I mean, is he's got advantage oh my god okay mm -hmm. it's 25 his first one he's rolled a survival okay. check i'm gonna i'll roll my first one with modic inspiration so okay. 1d8 right well, you can add the D uh, afterwards. You can you like. add afterwards, yeah. Yeah. So. <laughs> okay. Um. The Timmy's one, right? Fourteen. Yeah. And you can add another D four. Oh. Oh. Okay. okay. Nineteen twenty-two. Twenty-two. I'd say. <gasps> Not too bad. His one comes out just a little bit bigger. The first fish is okay. Okay, I win that round. It's two out of three. Throws the fish back into the water. But you both get big, sizable ones. You can tell he's impressed. Round two. I'll throw a little guidance. I can do this all day. <laughs> um, but yeah, not a inspiration. Cool. I have you guys can speak for it. limited. There's two, uh, right? Or... Oh. Oh. That's a net one great. for 14. What did you roll? 18. 18. His next oh. one isn't a very big fish. Your one comes out big and he's like, okay, one all. That was pretty good, that was. Okay. It's best out of three, right? So the last yep. one's yep. the one that's the out of one. three. All right. oh, Round three. Fuck. I'm tense, baby. Come on. <laughs> oh. Okay, and then his advantage. Oh, you know. <laughs> so 12. I don't even catch a fish, dude. I got, I got nine. The I third round, something else. He only managed so to put out a small fish with his twelve. I mean, she could buy. Yeah, the, yeah. Bardic inspiration. Do a bardic inspiration if she would have thrown another one. Would she throw another one? I think she sure. has how many? Four. <laughs> sure, sure. Maybe you she throw might even another one, right, Basil? Uh, thirteen. Oh, hey, oh. Thirteen. You just managed. But you got twelve. Just a little bit of the uh, with a little bit of the. Uh, Kind of the, the courage Wait, you wrote another one yeah and then with 12 was my max there yeah it was very low yeah really he low. pulls out he gets a small fish he's like oh dang it and your one just comes out just a little bit bigger they're both smaller <sighs> fish but he goes you got me that's the first time someone's beating me in a long while oh, I, a deal's a deal 70 gold all right <laughs> good job big fella <laughs> he's uh these fish Good are shot. both kind of small. Let's call it a tie at 100. Oh. Go one's bigger. Doesn't matter about the size of the fish. Deal's a deal. We'll do it for 70. Mostly, I won't lie. It'll be just nice to sail <laughs> under uh, Yoshi. You know, for some courage. 
Right. Oh no, we have to take them. <laughs> if you need us, come find us. He walks back to find okay. his boys. We'll be find in touch. Three guys. Mm -hmm. Um, we are looking to assemble the entire crew. Is there perhaps a uh, any preference that you might have on other people that you like to work with? Ooh. Perhaps uh, a cook or a quartermaster, shipwright, surgeon, helmsman, etc. Here's the list we have. Do you see any names you know? <laughs> um, I mean, there's a cook who works in the back of Aquinas' cough. We love her meals. Get her. That'd be great. Uh, she knows how to. Oh, she's Judy. Judy. The turtle. Oh, Sophia looks at the list and smiles. Oh, right. some great broth. Um, other than that, I know we can find a decent one. Ogres people. They're down in the brawling section of the uh, Accuratus Cough. They're pretty tough. Good saders, too. Okay. Cool. Thank you. Okay. Catch you around. You can find yourself over in that greenest cough upstairs getting drinks. He wanders off. <laughs> oh, I Aww. love him. He's on our ship. <laughs> <sighs> I'm too soft. I know. I just, I like, I'm sold on them. We haven't They're even talked about They're too pure everybody. for us. I mean, we're, what's, uh, we're pretty much what's their already, deal? Like, we're pretty but, much already pure so, with them. Out of character. Also, they're, they're, right. Sorry, yeah. I'll hit you up with this first, just quickly. Uh, his yeah. first mate ability is called Forgiving Folk. Their crew quality starts at six instead of four. Um, in combat, it, it's a max of 10 the crew qualities can get to. In combat, uh, he personally can take the help action as a bonus action. His crew's in combat ability is that they would be using nets and basic fishing spears. Um, not much damage, but they can help uh, uh, kind of lock down foes. They're unable to operate cannons, and each of them can disengage as a bonus action. Out of combat, uh, any wisdom survival checks to forage food are made with advantage, and they have a plus seven to their foraging. Right. Um, what I was going to say is something we can keep in mind is that if mutiny is a thing that's on the table when we're actually in ship mode, they are coming in already really liking the captain. Well, they're really liking the captain. The and they're not strong enough to overthrow, I don't think. Sure. There's yeah. also that, yeah. Yeah, you, you can also you take it into account that their head. the weaker the crew, the easier. <laughs> if the mutiny kicks off, you can take them. That's but they aren't <laughs> able to operate cannons, so we have to find the next crew has to be able to operate cannons, and um, the King's Pride mercenaries can't operate them very well. They operate at a disadvantage. So well, they also, if, if they they also like said they, uh, they, they're smart and they run from pirates. They don't fight them, so... Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Might not need cannons. True. It's true. Did say that. Also... Um, I'm glad that they said that because now we know they would not work well with Caddius Nix. <laughs> yeah. Not yeah. even a little bit. So we bit. can't get Caddius Nix either. Um, but we can, Olga is next. And, uh, from, well, I mean, uh, yeah. They said they wanted that the Olga was a good recommendation. So, and we they're like, not failure, So we go with her next. We still okay. have like, what, four or five more to go. Mm. So, so five. Yeah. Five. Um, heading down into the lower sections of Akuena's cough. You enter into the cargo bore area where people kind of direct you to. And you find yourselves, uh, let me put that other music back on. You find yourselves kind of walking downstairs after like a bounce at the door kind of looks at you guys. You draw the fight. You head downstairs and you see a kind of a, a makeshift arena being set up with like tables and chairs all put around in a circle and a bunch of people watching. A couple people get knocked out on the ground in, in the middle and you see in the center of, of the fighting area, you see this tall Goliath. She's kind of only wearing a tank top um, uh, and kind of a, a sailing wares along with it, a dwarf as well and a, uh, a kind of a human guy sailor as well who's got kind of a tied up beard. How big is she? She is about seven foot. So she's like the same size as Safira. Yeah. Big lady, bald head, um, tough, has kind of like these tattoos going across her head. And she laughs and goes, Who else? Who else? Hey. She's fighting. She's fighting with the two others. Yep. They're on her crew. Her pulls her axe up. Me! <laughs> no axes, mate. Fists only. <laughs> I don't need the axe. She smiles. 
All right, your choice. He passes the axe to Timmy. One on one, <laughs> or if you've got three people, bring them on in. Get your bets going, Still by one the way. On one. Uh, she doesn't need us. You want to go one on one? Pat her on the arm. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> As she cracks the knuckles. My right, boys, wait by the sides. We've got a big lady coming in. All right, let me move you to the map. Um, and I will. Oh, Safira would be so happy. <laughs> I know. Let me get rid of the two. Figure somebody be like, oh, it's a big lady. Be like, that's right. She, 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 she's beaming right now. She's in her element. Yeah. Someone any... calls her big lady. She's like, yeah, that's me. Do we want any tavern fight music? We'll see. What's this one? Can we place ourselves like on the outskirts? Yeah, absolutely. Um, wow. Okay. Let me move so you guys can all see as well in the chat. I might have to swap out a few more bardic inspirations on the old, uh... uh what is Basil's charisma Basil. modifier? Can you look, tell that to us so we know how many he uh, has? yes, I can. Uh, give me one moment, I shall. Mm. I, I shall. don't remember. So we've used two already? Yeah. I, I can give access to Basil's sheet to one of you guys if you'd like. To uh, Timmy. To, to Timmy, yeah. Timmy works. I've got Timmy's sheet as well, I just noticed. <laughs> yeah, I think we all have Timmy's sheet. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, from when you weren't here, we all had access That's to right, Timmy yeah. now. Okay, Basil. That day we were all Timmy. Yeah. Timmy was there in spirit through all of us. <laughs> okay. Um... I love this song. It's like the Witcher one. Dun, 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 it dun, is dun, the dun, Witcher dun, dun, dun. one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I know. <laughs> um, okay. Let me get her stats up and then we will one-on-one uh, -on -one it. Anyone else wants to fight? Oh, you're just doing straight one-on-one, -on -one, yeah? Okay. One-on-one. -on -one. Safira, you better not lose. Otherwise, I'll throw you in the bin. <laughs> Are you talking to yourself? Oh, Unreal. Yeah. <laughs> I wrote an issue with that thing, but there you I'm go. I'm talking to Safira. Initiative. You already to Safira. Okie dokie. I'm also not opening my character sheet. I can re-roll my initiative as well, right? Mm -hmm. oh. I'll roll it with advantage. Uh, but you should. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. think so, right? It's your barbarian thing. Advantage. You roll it with a uh, advantage now. Okay, I so mean, I just roll it, it again then. It super matter in a one-on-one, -on -one. <laughs> but yeah. That's true. Either way. Yeah. Now I'm ahead. All right. <clears throat> Let's knock the other one out. Or knock the other one down so they don't get back up again. How about it? All right. All right. She readies her fists. You go first. Uh, yep. And Zafira goes into rage, naturally. Go for it. Nice. And just uh, we we agreed that um, she can divine fury in fist fights, right? Uh, does it say it has to be a weapon attack? But we did it before. Mm -mm. We did it before with twice actually. Once when I punched. If it's uh, just a an goo. attack after your thing, yeah. Um, It'd be on your first attack though. It's only one of your attack rolls. Wait, is that? It's a we... weapon strike, I believe. All right, I'm confused. Um, unarmed, okay. Unarmed strikes uh, are not considered weapons. You can use okay. an improvised weapon; it would work on, but. I think we did, we did do it before though on the goose though because I couldn't slash them and then uh, Sam them. was like just punch it and then I, uh, you were like ah oh, you get your divine yeah, damage okay. from it. Roll that, roll that. Okay, just just making sure because we did it before. Um, oh, that's okay. cool. All right, all right, all right, all right. Go okay. for it. Um, okay, Safira kind of like rolls her shoulders a little bit, cracks her knuckles, and then screams in the lady's face before okay. going in. Go with, with a uh, with a straight up punch. Go for it. Uh, 13. 13 is... Oh, fuck. I should have it fucking hits. used... It just hits. All right, just hits. Okay, next mm -hmm. time I wreck... Actually, do I want a reckless attack? Probably not. Okay, cool. It hits. Bludgeoning plus D6. Okay. So 10 points of damage. You come in mm -hmm. striking her hard across the jaw. She waves them and goes... Okay. Uh, I'm guessing you run up to her, right? Like you're gonna go up to her like this? Yeah, yeah, of course. Okay. Yeah, yeah, she should charge. Sorry, yeah. I have my massive character screen taking up a million space in my face. Okay, go. You have another attack? Oh, yeah, I do. <laughs> All right, we'll just go it again then, I guess. I guess that one. Yeah. Hits. 
Okay, eight points of bludgeoning. You don't Plus add two. your d6 to the oh, no. second attack, okay. only your first Sorry, attack. you're right, you're right. Okay, um, sure. Yeah, you eight come points. in and get another big strike on her. Okay, big damage. All right. Uh, on her turn. How are you feeling? She says. <laughs> a bit hit harder. She <laughs> swings three fists at you. 25, a 21, and a 14. Okay, uh, yeah, they all hit. Okay. Even uh, a 14? Yeah, the 14 just, uh, I have 14 oh, armor class, so. That's oh, a man. 10 bludgeoning, 11 bludgeoning, and 8 bludgeoning. Uh, so that'd be 19, 29, rounded down to 16 because you're raging. And she just comes in, pump, pump, pump across your, your chin, your chest, and your uh, kind of just just above your uh, your neckline. Um, oh trying to knock you down. Go if you it. weren't okay. raging, if you weren't raging, she'd knock you the fuck out, I think. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. She's pretty strong. That's, that was big damage. Big damage. Okay, uh, 16. It's all right. I did count it correctly. Okay. <clears throat> Not bad. Okay, let's go in again, Sophia. Let's do it. 18. 18 hits. <laughs> Seven points and... legend, and your D6. Yep, nice. Right. 13, very nice. Uh huh. I mean, she's already looking a little bit hurt from these huge attacks. Go for the next one. What a shame. Come on. No! That one. She catches your fist this time, just kind of twists it. And now she's going to attempt to punch you three times in the face. Okay. Right. I'm ready. 10. Seven, thirteen. None of them hit. Just swings, wow. just misses your face two times. Aggressively, your turn again. Mm -hmm. Pretty much have a remove shit, initiative. That's so good. Because we know it's one after the other at this point. Yeah, true. Um, true. Okay, go for it. Oh dear. She's like, you're a little faster. Eleven misses. She dodges Eleven, to the side yeah. from that that fist. Yeah, it looks like you have some speed about you too. Oh, fuck off, Safira! She dodges again. Okay. She's going to go right. in for a... Um, yeah, she's going to... Uh, she's going to attempt to grapple you. Okay. Athletics check, yeah? Um, yes, against her one. Is it strength save or just an athletics check? An athletics check against hers. I have advantages against uh, athletics mm -hmm. checks when I'm raging, right? Yep. Okay. She rolled a 20. Okay. Nat 20. Oh! 28. She tries to slam you. Um, and yeah. misses. Uh, because you succeed in that one, she doesn't get another turn to go. She'll get your go. She tries to grab you. Fabian's <laughs> going crazy in the audience, by the way. You just hear, like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> Some people looking at you, drink. just like, <laughs> others just cheering me around the area. Shut up. That's my friend. How rough, oh. how rough is she looking? Um, You've roughed her up quite a bit. She's can take a bit more of a beating. All right, I'm gonna. Do I want a reckless attack? If she's looking rough. Maybe I can. No, I don't think. I don't know if I can kill her in two more attacks. Um. Okay, I'll, I'll just go go normal for now. Okay. Oh fuck off! To <laughs> that one. She backs away from that swing. Terrible. God, I wish I had done the reckless attack now. Next one. That seems exactly what you needed, though. So. I know, but it's so low. Okay, cool. Right. If it hits, it hits. Yeah. It points budging plus do three. I get, do I, do yep. I get the D6 on this? It's only second? the first okay. attack that hits. Oh! Nice. 14 yeah. points yeah, of yeah. damage. She's looking rough. You okay. Smack her across the drawer again. Yeah, yeah right. She's going to go in for three attacks on you. Hit me with your best shot. Seven, and that 20, and then 18. Okay, um, okay and that 20 and 18 hits. Okay. It's gonna hurt. Double damage though. Oof. This is gonna hurt. Yeah. Thirty damage. Uh, narrowed down yep. to fifteen. Fifteen. Yeah, that's fine. Um, she just pummels you. Uh, the first one misses, and then the next one she just clocks you across the jaw, and you just feel your eyes kind of blink for a moment. You see two of the table next to you, and then it goes back to normal, and then she hits you again. That would usually knock okay. anyone down. She spits blood to the side. The oh. fuck are you made of? Good turn. <laughs> Stronger stuff than the worms that you usually fight, I imagine. Okay, reckless attack. Let's go. For go. It. 25. It hits. Oh, yeah. 
Seven points of bludgeoning. Plus the three Jordan, describe how you knock her out. Yes. Yeah. That was a quick little Sephira fist fight. Takes, yeah. Sophia takes one last second, looks at her. She gives her a little smile and a wink and then bam, straight into the nose. <laughs> you see this as it breaks, she falls onto her back. Blood kind of spies down her face. She eyes that groggily. The dwarf like dives into the room. Like, oh, oh, shit. Then like kind of helps resuscitate a little bit and she kind of blinks. Looks up at you. Sophia offers her a hand to help her up. She grabs your hand, gets to her feet. And Sophia pulls her up. Grabs her nose. Snaps her back into nose. place. <laughs> As you do. And then grabs your wrist and then holds it up to the crowd who begin cheering. Um, yeah! <laughs> Especially you could hear Fabia in the crowd. That's the loudest <laughs> one of them all. Um <laughs> Sophia winks at Fabia. <laughs> okay, yeah, a nice little fist fight. She uh she kinda looks at you across you. Well for hmm. <sighs> Okay. Go and collect your winnings. Um the gambling person How much is it? Oh, takes it is in. Someone... Okay. They bet against you. Um, so you win 35 gold pieces. Ooh. Uh, which you're handed quickly. Uh, uh, takes the uh, bag of gold and she throws it up in the air a couple of times and catches it. We're looking to hire you. <laughs> Is that right? Okay. <laughs> well, you're tough. Where are you going? Fabio will, will uh, oopsies, just kidding. She walks over towards your group and kind of gets out of the, the She'll hop of over the table. <laughs> <laughs> she, uh, she looks like, down at you. What are you talking about? What's going on? Well, she said she's going to hire us. Oh. We're looking to sail to Wolfgard. Tell us a little bit about your crew. <clears throat> heard only good things. Of course, yeah. We're the best. Yeah, we're, uh, we're sailors, born and bred, done a lot of military missions, done a lot of long voyages, done Wolfgard, a couple of times. Sick, that's where we're going! Alright. Yeah, we could do that. And what is your rate? For the entire trip, 350 gold. Hmm. Can I throw in my 35 gold into it? You can. <laughs> or are we capped at 500? No, you can, you can add your own money to this. Yeah, we That's can add the our own money. You, you guys can go around and buy everyone if you want. I yeah. mean, that would clutter <laughs> up the ship and probably make it weigh sure. a lot less. And, but, uh, sure. Yeah, you can buy Everyone it. has to like be on someone else's shoulders. Mm. It's fine. It would, uh, 350 gold get us. Well, the best sailors. Here it is. How least. many? Through the entire ship for it. Half. Half? We are looking to uh, sail potentially with uh, Fomfloop and his fisher folk <laughs> as well. So we would need another half. Okay. How big is the ship? Schooner. It's a, it's a ski. Oh, schooner. Yeah. Yeah. Sophia points to. Is there a mark <laughs> on want... the list next to her name at all? No. Okay. 200 gold? 200 for half. Safira smiles and she says, make it 175 and I will teach you how to fight. <laughs> what a persuasion check. What advantage could you just beat her? <laughs> okay. Okay, where's my theme, my jiggy advantage? Persuasion. My persuasion is not great. It's zero, so... Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. Oh, my, my God, goodness. Dude. That was terrible. Um, <laughs> fight. Wow. <laughs> Chat, that was a three and a one. Yeah. <laughs> Just in case you're wondering why we all went. <gasps> I know how to fight. And you clearly don't know how to sail. It's 220 gold now. Don't piss oh, me off. Oh, fuck me. Sorry, guys. <laughs> um, <laughs> God, it could have been such a good roll as well. Okay, I, that's probably all we need to know. I guess we can find their parks later. Okay. Three smiles. 
I have oh, character. Right, I'll be in touch. All right. Hmm? Catch you then. She goes back and kind of starts cleaning up her nose area. I have character. Um, her hmm. first mate ability is called Seen It All. The crew is unable to be surprised even when incapacitated due to their experiences across the sea. So you, if you get attacked during the night, they won't be considered surprised. Um, in combat, Sick. her crew had advantage to wisdom and charisma saving throws, um, such as like fear and stuff. Um, their crew ability in combat, they use scimitars, short swords, no armor. They're able to operate cannons. Um, they get a multi-attack function with cannons, uh, so they can uh, fire two shots. Though I'm still working on that because I think what we'll do action economy wise is there's going to be a cleaning and a loading action as well as. Um, so they will be able to reduce the action by one. Okay. They so, can technically shoot every turn. Every round. Every, every, round. every round. Yeah. Um, it's rather going to be three rounds to fire one shot or two rounds. They will be lessened by one. Yeah. So essentially, they're quicker to, to use the cannons. Um, out of combat. They ability. sail and fight, which is nice. Do we know yep. how they are about? Uh, just as last ability. Out of combat ability. Uh, they cannot be knocked prone by cannon fire or hazardous conditions. Hazardous conditions, sorry. Such as storms, etc. Um, and the deck is not considered cluttered with them on it, as they know their way around. Huh? Nice. Unless, obviously, you okay. pack it full of people, then yeah. you're going to be cluttered off of those guys. But the deck, if they are only taken up half or full crew, is not considered cluttered. So, I'll post those to you. Um, what okay. you gonna, and, and do you know their what? Their attitude? Because if so, no. No, I don't remember what I was going to say. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay. Obviously, I didn't care that much. <laughs> um, it was like the one thing that we needed to know. I'd forgotten now. Um, okay. Okay, let's head to number five. Dahlia, the Wolfguard people. Hey. Okay. Yeah, you head out into the marketplace where you would see um, her stall where she's selling tokens and valuables that have the Wolfguard symbol on it, which is a wolf's head um, howling at the moon. They are supplying food at the same time as well for, for a few people around the area. And uh, and yeah, they've got they've got themselves a little market stall. She stood behind it. She's okay. got her hair tied back uh, and selling to a couple of customers as you guys approach. They're real. They're genuine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to deal with these customers next, okay? And moves over and looks at you. Hello there. Are you here for a little bit of Hello. food or... Would you like to buy uh, some no. merchandise from uh, Wolfguard? It's genuine. Looks at merchandise. Uh, actually, as she's looking at merchandise, we're uh, we're trying to hire a crew for a trip to Wolfguard. You're sailing to my home. Oh. Uh, I have a few sailors among my people. We'd love to go. Okay, well, that's great. When could you, uh, when could you leave? <laughs> so that don't you? If I gather everyone up. <laughs> if I gather everyone up. Four hours? Oh, we are not leaving that quickly, but that's oh. good to know. Um, when's the last time you were in Wolfguard? Myself. Eight years ago. Or ten. Oh. It's been a while. Most of them, most of the people I've got, they're, they're, they're refugees from it. We just not wanted to go back or just circumstances Can't. didn't allow? Can't afford to. It's not an easy trek across the land. You'd have to get a boat anyway. True. Well, we're looking to make... Uh, we're looking to take the whole trip by sea. You got a ship? We do. A schooner. Okay. I'd like to request if you do take so long that you bring everyone. How many of you are there? 30. That's like more than we can fit on a ship. I'm going to cry. Uh, a schooner <laughs> could technically hold... Like about 50 people, but it yeah. cramps it up. Yeah, okay. So basically, if we take them, we can't yeah. take them just, Are you, you're all from Wolfguard? Yeah. <laughs> 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 
We're such fucking bleeding so hearts, dude. <laughs> so bye. Jared does come this to fuck with you guys all the yeah, time. Yeah, I know, right? We're gonna come out 200 people and you can put them all on the ship and be like, oh, it's just sailing yeah. on really slow sink and you're just yep. constantly throwing buckets so out. So it's gonna take us like six months more, but we could get everybody with us. <laughs> like the fox and the uh the the chicken story i mean if there's the 30 yeah. people there must um, they must have some use yeah people. so if we were to hire you as a can you tell us a little bit about your crew i mean crew's a stretch i mean some of them are good sailors former sailors from wolfguard some of the fighters some of the just fisher folks some of them are everything um they just do what they need to survive really well-rounded good folk hmm can provide the entire crew if necessary what um how much how much would that cost cost oh no you just feed us we want to go home <laughs> god damn it <laughs> <laughs> it's killing me right now that we don't have a camera on sam because i would have been staring at him this whole time <laughs> <laughs> So glance these characters I'm just, just to rolling um, my fucking eyes, yeah. <laughs> okay. So so you have a, a, a kind of mix of everything in your group. Yeah, we We do. Is there a is there a star or a tick next to this person? No. Nothing looks good. Okay. Nothing is this all. the okay. chef they wanted? No, you haven't even gone to the chef no. yet. No. Oh fuck these guys. <laughs> Um, what do you mean? Wait, we're still trying to like figure out how our ship is gonna not yeah, be Yeah, this is Joe's budget alternative where it's like fucking, hey, these guys work for free, but they're shit at everything. You could save some money. I mean, cheap, tight ass. But the pirates kind of said they would work for free too. Yeah, the pirates said they would work for free. Sam, pay just got attention. I just gotta throw in a good yeah, word. The pirates with are also my gonna mom. fucking steal the ship and mutiny. And not if you treat them well. Exactly. I'm just Not saying, there well. are other budget options Yeah. Right now. Um, Look, this is bad. Just walk away from this. Look I'll at Joe's like fucking... Look at I'm Joe's face, no, I'm laughing. He's trying not to laugh. <laughs> I'm laughing because of you. I think all <laughs> options are lovely. Can we just stick him on the lower deck and just hire an actual crew? Yeah, right. Um, I don't, does anybody else have any questions for them? I feel like... We kind of get the idea, right? Yeah, we just need to know um, their Yeah, we just need to know their stats. So, uh, okay. okay, well, we'll um, we'll be in touch. Yeah, uh, thank you. you. Find us. Thank you. She goes back to selling <laughs> uh, some stuff to the customers. Uh, their abilities. Uh, her first mate ability is that wolf guard loyalty. Dahlia will never mutiny. Even if morale is at its lowest, her and her people will fight for the captain. Um, so if there's a mutiny where half the crew is, say, pirates and they mutiny, she will fight alongside you. Um, in combat, she can replace a fallen ally with another, calling them in to take the fallen's place. So you have a few soldiers on the deck with you, fighting alongside you. If one of those dies, she can bring in someone new and go through her, her people like that. Uh, crew abilities. In combat, they're unable to operate all the cannons. They can operate two or half. So we have right um, on it? Oh. You are about to oh, have... Oh, no, we'd have an extra uh, two. Yeah, four. you're about to have four. Um, we can operate cannons though, right? Or... Yeah, if we get... It's gonna, you're gonna have to get trained. Cannons. You're gonna have to get trained. It's uh, yeah. Cannons are a pretty foreign concept to a lot of the world. Gunpowder was, uh, or, or what they call black powder at this point, uh, was only really discovered during the drought when magic wasn't around. And when magic returned, people thought we don't need this shit anymore, um, and they went back to magic. So it's kind of a a trading tool that's not as well um, discovered unless you're a sailor. Um, they do, 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 do. Yep, so they, they can only operate half cannons uh, basic fighting gear but they have plenty of people out of combat on board the ship you get access to a general store whilst travelling at a discount Ooh. so if you want a little shop on your store at the same time okay. cool. wait so they take up like they, they take up 30 capacity yeah uh, well, or we can I mean, just take half of them, I mean, and they could choose which half. Yeah, you can convince with. that you only have half the rim. It's up to you. You can. Now this is set in um, stone. Okay, number six. I'm just, I'm sorry. just wondering, like, how, sorry, how many people is it before you are overcrowded? When when do we get the overcrowded debuff? Um, you'd get a cluttered ship on the on the decking, outside of the sailors anyway. 
but where it starts affecting the weight uh, and and kind of becomes cluttered across all the decks and slows everything down, I would say is around, if you said probably each of these people brings around eight people each, including themselves, um, once you go over 30, would probably be your thing. Uh, probably 25, 30. You're roughly going to be around that number when you finish. So it's if you bring, <laughs> essentially if you bring any more than you have, like than I've suggested. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. As you're walking away from them, you're approached by, in, in kind of whitish rags and kind of grayish furs over the shoulders, um, blue tattoos across his shaven head and hair going down one side, uh, big kind of blonde beard, blonde hair that comes down the side, but it's matted, um, quite raider-like fur. And next to him, a girl with similarly blonde hair, uh, shaven sides with hair that kind of dreads down the back and curls at the bottom. Um, tough looking with kind of the similar shaped blue tattoos that just seem to be more kind of tribal, if anything. Going across her chin and up her cheeks. Um, you see these two broad, probably like both of them. Uh, the guy probably about six foot two. She's about six foot herself. They walk over. They've got like, the guy's got two axes on his belt and she's got kind of a big curling sword on hers. Um, and a shield on her back. They come up to you. So we hear you're putting together a crew. Yes, brother. A crew. Well, you need two of the we best, are. don't you? That's right. Tyler's Tyler. <laughs> you recognize them, Skold and Sephira, as being uh, from Fuelhelm by the accent and by the look of them. Pale skin. Mm -hmm. um, well. Have they heard of them before? Roll a yeah, I'd say roll a streetwise check. So charisma, uh, straight charisma check. Because it's kind of like names being spread around. Sixteen. Sixteen. Did you want to roll skull? Or do you not think you would have heard him? No, skull would. Have... Um, I'd say yeah. You've you've heard of a. You don't know if it's definitely these two, but you've heard of a brother and sister that were frequent raiders back when you were in uh, in your town um they were known to raid um coastal towns in westmore and whatnot a couple of uh dangerous combatants on the sea heard of you hmm. of course you have yeah i had the best bit of a problem pair <laughs> no in fear helm ah you know we get around we get around what my sister means is that we don't stay to one place. We raid wherever we can. We hear that you're going to Wolfgard. We'd like to raid it. <laughs> Alternatively, <laughs> looks at... Alternatively. We want to see some big creatures. We hear the sea has some. We'd like to kill them. Hey, the bigger the better. If we Hypothetically, come Hypothetically, if there was no raiding on the way, would that be a deal breaker for you? No. You? No. Would we like to fight? Maybe we hunt a okay. big cool fish. Something big. Like a shark. A big, Bigger a big than fish. a shark. <laughs> It's a bunch of dolphins. They're just like. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do you want to? Can you tell us a little bit about your crew? How many of you there are? They look at each other. Just us two. Oh, just the two of you. Why do we need a crew? To sail the ship. We don't need a crew for that. How big is the just ship? Just the two of you. A schooner? Yes. The two of you. Southern ships sail are easier to sail. Yes. Also can. We sail hard the ships up in the north. Ones which actually require oars, rowing, tougher winds, colder. Okay. Those southern ships are easy to sail. Why do you need so many people? So? Interesting. So, uh, what kind of, uh, what kind of rates are you looking for? Under gold each. Mm. 
Wow, just, you guys just... think you're big dick, huh? Yeah. Minor gold each? Damn. That's Funny right. because we can get full crews, half crews for for that okay. much. Go into a restaurant. All the breadcrumbs, you get lots of them. Order a steak dinner, only get one. <laughs> I kind of like With them. a steak dinner. <laughs> Like Thank you too. for. I hope that's their motto reasons. when they, yeah, like when they try to like get people to hire them in the future. I hope they're just like Charis and Tyro. We're the steak dinner. It's called it on their card. <laughs> Still better than the cock slayer, so. though. <laughs> <laughs> New name, steak dinner. Uh, okay. Uh, does anybody else have any questions for them? If we need to find you guys, like where are you gonna be? Where are you chilling at? Where do you want us to go? We bought. Should we go to the big ship? Wait, to the big ship? The big ship's a tap. That's a, if you're bored, like at least you get something to drink there. At the tavern. No, we know that. We don't want to go to raid it. Oh. I mean, we could, brother. No, don't. <laughs> <laughs> I like these I'm not going to tell you how to live your life. You know what? <laughs> yeah, meet us. Yeah. Yeah, meet us there. <laughs> okay. Well, it's a great idea. They uh they head off and they just start talking to themselves. Um, Fabio will look at everybody and be like, "I like them. <laughs> <laughs> I like a steak dinner. They've got not gonna lie, and I don't think that Olga likes me anymore." <laughs> they uh their abilities. The first mate ability is Tales of Adventure. Tyrus, they are tougher naturally than than a lot of the others. You get kind of quality over quantity. I hope so. Um, Tales of Adventure. Tyrus and Tyra will increase crew quality by one as long as they've fought a dangerous sea creature that week or boarded another vessel um, or mm. raided shores if you wanted to do that. Um, two, if they've done both. In combat, uh, they can use their reaction to give each other advantage on their first attack. They both have death saving throws. They both attack three times um, and they can tell you the resistances and immunities of creatures you encounter with a nature check of DC 10. They have a plus three uh, to their role for that. Their crew ability is they have no crew. They're not able to use cannons, etc., etc. So there's no <laughs> their crew ability. ability is none. They have no crew. They are tough well, enough. Their, their, their crew ability is that instead of yeah. bringing 30 people on the ship, we bring yeah. two and we have a ton of space. Right. Yeah. yeah. But they can't use cannons, so they don't go with uh, fun floop. Yeah, but they're psychopath fighters. Yeah, which is, you know, it's all well, basically Basically, if we want to spend a bit more, we can also just bring them as monster hunters. That's true sure. as well. I can also heal up two people better than 30 people. Yep, yeah, also that's true. also true. That's also true. Bear in mind also you're going to have, a, have access to, to your surgeon. Mind whoever well. else that we... Yeah. I guess we're whoever. leaving the old, um, the 30... The, 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 the well, I mean, I guess we haven't. Like, <laughs> I don't know. I still think most of them are good options. Like, we still don't... I don't know that we even have one that we're, like, for sure. We still have two, mm. what, two more to talk to? Yeah, I know. We're kind of, yeah. like... Are we all committed on Fon Floop and the Fisher Folk? Half of them, at least. I mean, I think they're cute, but I'm not committed to, like, OLG thinks they're adorable. I don't know that I'm committed to taking them with. Yeah. <clears throat> I... <clears throat> okay, number seven. Let's do it. Okay. Because, again, they're going to be mad if, if raiding happens. Yeah. Sure. Or, yeah. So we need to keep that sort of stuff in mind. Well, what do you think Basil would be happy if we allowed raiders onto the ship? No. Her, yeah. Her, I mean, I don't think anyone's going to be happy if we allowed Basil raiders on the ship. But Basil would definitely gravitate towards nice slash funny people, even if they didn't seem to cut out for the job. So <laughs> that was her uh, impression going yeah, in. That's yeah. Not great. So yeah, so fun flute probably, and uh, I mean, well, let's talk to the other two. Well, she said, he said nice, funny. These yeah, guys are funny. I was true. gonna say true. Also, the Wolfguard people were nice. Like, I mean, yeah, you know, it would pull on Basil's heartstrings. I would say also, I, Basil's I, not here. Coming into this, I had no idea. <laughs> I had no idea which ones you would pick, so we'll see. Um, I think you have fun with all. Uh, all right. Where do you want to go next? Next one. Next one. Number seven. There it's okay. Ferris and Akena. Yeah, you head over to um, uh, the. They're located outside of the temple of Akrena, and they are on the kind of the dock side, far to the east. When you approach, you would see a bunch of people in light blue robes. Um, very like short hair, uh, shortcuts for the hair, both the women and the men. Um, and they're all kind of like scrubbing the deck and cleaning the area around the temple. There's a bald, completely bald one, a half elf at the front. who kind of turns and smiles. The name on the on the um, on the 
sheet that you've been given as well, I should say. It says, it says Ferris doesn't speak. Okay. Is there a check mark or a X or whatever? No. Okay. Okay. Cool. Okay. Hello. We are uh, looking to hire a crew for a trip to Wolfgard, and your name was given to us. Is that something you might be interested in? Okay, <laughs> that's good. Um, is there someone here who could tell us a little about your crew? <laughs> that's okay. Um, I'm going to message. Amazing. <laughs> Fuck it out. <laughs> You're gonna message. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna message, and uh, and be like, "Could you tell us about it, or or is this also off limits?" Okay, I'm gonna say that he would definitely respond. Um, okay, message in return. Because is, is message vocal? Is it entirely in the mind? It's entirely mental. Yeah. yeah? Mm -hmm. So then you definitely would do that. Um, you hear his kind of soft voice. Ah. <gasps> You cast magic. Of course I can tell you. We are Aquiena's Whisper. We're an order founded between the love between Aquiena, the goddess of the sea and storms, and Sakata, the god of magic and discovery. Blah. We are sailors. And we also study magic. Uh, Blah. How many of you are there? How many of them are there? She says to Fabio. On the on the deck, only about five of them or so. But <clears throat> how many do you need? Six or so, right? Yeah, half, we're not half a crew. Yeah. Yeah, half, half a crew. Looking for half. Oh, I don't know why I'm saying probably. That. She can't say that. <laughs> well, I mean. He can he can hear yeah, he can hear us everybody and then just yeah. message yeah. yeah but she can't hear what he's saying unless fabi is relaying it yeah, I mean, yeah that's why i'm doing blah yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. oh. Wow. Sorry, okay i didn't yeah, understand relaying. what the blah was i was just like oh okay, this is the international yeah, sign language he's relaying it sure. so, uh, okay at um convenient moments. sure what what uh what would your rates be for that many people a trip to wolfgard 200 gold. Blah. Hmm. And, um, uh, can you use a cannon? <laughs> yes. Hmm. He said they're all, he said they're sailors, right? Yep. Yeah, okay. Well, they seem like they tickle the boxes. Except we don't have really fighters, I guess. But Basil's in the background, like, they can't sing songs. <laughs> 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 Sorry, man. They're... There's no singing. So they, uh, but they, they're all about magic, which means some of them might fight yeah. with magic. Um, well, do any all, of you fight? Yeah. Yes. We are capable of defending the ship if necessary. What are you not capable of? Do you have any, like, hard lines? Message. Like, do you have any, like, hard line, like, anything that you're, like... We won't do. Just yeah, just like just so that we know. As long as he's not blasphemous towards Aquiana or Sakata. <laughs> no. So no killing beasties in the water every yeah. day. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh. All right. Hmm. I like think that's bases? all. Yeah. yeah. Yes, please. Uh, they have the Whisper as the first mate ability. It's as long as Ferris is conscious, he's able to cast the Identify spell at will. He's also able to call upon a hunter shark to follow the ship and watch out for any creatures, um, similar to the Find Familiar spell. Sick. In combat, he can cast up to third level spells, though they are cold spells. His crew abilities, uh, in combat, they have ma magic capabilities and they're able to use cannons. You'll have a couple of casters with you. Um, out of combat, with an eight-hour ritual to Aquiana, and once per trip slash month, whichever is longer, the ship can be blessed to restore 12d10 hit points. 
They can call upon Acriana's blessing. That's pretty tight. I think we should get them. We don't have we don't have anybody that can fix the ship so far. <laughs> you haven't gone to the bosuns yet, so uh, yeah, that's true. Guess, come in. We'll get to them, right? Uh, okay. Well, number eight. Number eight. Okay. Stop. Promising. Stops for lunch. Okay. So a little bit of time's gone by in the day. You come across um, in the outskirts of the kind of lower tier. Uh, I haven't changed this one. Uh, yeah, it's there's this kind of tinted area and a an old sloop ship, a smaller ship uh, with a couple of uh, it's only got a singular mast, but quite a tall one. It looks a little bit shoddy, and it has kind of these playful cannons on it uh, um, among like a bunch of kind of seating area near it. You see a tabaxi, a, a cat-like man in kind of a red top hat and a red showmanship uh, uh, kind of one piece going down him. And he taps his cane on the ground, looks across at you as you wander over. No shows today. Oh, uh, we're actually looking to hire a crew for a journey to Wolfguard. You see loads of ticks next to this one. Ah. We had your okay. name on the list? Why? Oh, well, uh, Who did that? it was given. It was the tick marks were good, right? Yep. <laughs> right. Yeah. It was, this list was made for us by uh, uh, Captain Heartbloom, the Scarlet ah, Whistle. One of our Do biggest you know fans, yes. Oh, Which yeah. Is all our she shows. actually. Your oh. shows. What do you do? <laughs> she just wants entertainment on the ship, doesn't she? We're bound to the mast. We're yeah, the no, high flyers it... of the sea. We do a like show. Like acrobat? Yes, we do a show. Firing out of Ow. cannons, jumping from high rigging, all sorts. High you flyers. You shoot yourself out of a cannon? No, I don't do it. I'm the showman. But, but somebody else? Do. That's pretty intense. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Have you ever crewed a ship before? Well, they're sailors, yes, of course. Oh, okay. But they are. are you... Where's the foot? He says, of course. Yeah, are you. Uh... <laughs> I don't know. Okay. So are you. Uh... Ship lay. Um... <laughs> There's your YouTube title. <laughs> <laughs> um... Okay. So, are you interested in making a trip to Wolfguard? No. No? Not really. Are, are you okay? Price. Well, what would your rate be? That's a long <laughs> way. How long is that distance? How long would it be on the water? Two weeks? It's definitely not two uh, weeks. It's closer it's to... A bit, a bit longer than that. A month and a half. So, six <laughs> weeks. A bit longer? Uh, we'd be missing out on shows. She fucking gave us a troll on the list. Well, I suppose. 250 gold? You get all of them. There's seven of us in total. Okay. Um... I can't think of anything else to ask them. I'm so stumped. Does anybody else have anything they want to ask? Um... Oh. Can you fight? I mean, we wouldn't look to. But I'm sure they can handle themselves. I mean, we do some pretty good juggling tricks where we throw knives to each other and whatnot. Oh, Have you... fuck. Can you shoot cannons? Oh, well, unless we're firing one of ours out of, out of one. Like cannons with actual, like, cannonballs in them, not people. Oh, no. You realize no. there's no difference between okay. firing a person and a cannonball out of a cannon. <laughs> it's the same technical application. Yes. I we, we try. <laughs> we have this one in a very particular place and fires to a very particular spot. We don't really move it. So, yeah, we don't know how to aim a... them, but we can, we can load one. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, um, all right. Thank you so much for your time. Uh, we'll uh, we'll we'll be in touch. Do come by. I'll run it by the others. 
Um, <laughs> he walks back to his, his crew. The ability, uh, raising morale. Uh, Grinwall is able to improve morale once per day. If the crew's quality score is three or lower, he can make a DC 15 performance check to successfully increase it by one. Um, in combat, nice. once per day, he is able to cast Hideous Laughter. A creature of any intelligence can fall victim to this. Um, as long as he is conscious, his crew have a plus 10 to movement speed. As long as they're jumping, climbing, or swimming. His crew ability. In combat, they use throwing knives mostly, daggers as well. Uh, they're unable to use the cannons unless firing themselves from one. They're able to climb rigging, and it isn't considered difficult terrain for them. Um, huh? I will say that you Hold are... on, hold on, let me just get in. But wait, you do have two pounders, so you're not going to be able to fit yeah. a person inside them, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but in case you ever come back to ship stuff, uh, out of combat, as long as one of the crew is in the crow's nest, the passive wisdom score of the crew is 10 plus the crew's quality. Um, so, and then plus their wisdom bonus, which is a plus three. So you have a much higher passive wisdom. Okay. And I'll link it in. Can you, oh, can you put the Ferris can you also link there? Ferris, yeah. Oh, yeah. okay, yeah, Miss Ferris, okay. Um, Jeez, Joe. Uh, my bad, my bad. Okay, and I'll put Ferris in there. So you've looked at all of the crews, potential crews. Okay. Do we want to look at the rest of the staff before, or decide on a crew before we get the crew? I think we should there? decide on a crew, personally. I think so, too. Okay. And then we can work the other stuff around that. The other yeah. stuff will like have more benefits to yeah. you as you guys. Um, hmm? The other ones will probably have more benefits towards you guys, personally. These guys are mostly for sailing the ship and in combat, etc. But the other ones will can provide you some bonuses, so it doesn't matter which order you go in. Um, so you can decide the crew first, or you can decide later. Okay. I think I'm... Okay. Okay. Um, Ferris is probably my favorite, and with... Um, Floop. Let's hear what you guys think. Um, God, I would love to take Tyrus and Tyra. They are going to cause problems with groups that are just in yeah. general, but also with groups that are that are like Both that are a little bit not have more friends on board. I think that are a little bit more moral, right? Like that are not going to want to like. I mean, you raid. could also go with like Cadius Nix and then Tyrus and Tyra, but they also don't go well with the captain, right? Well, the, well the, the fjord people aren't like bad high they do it for sport so they're not gonna yeah. be malicious yeah also, but i don't i mean i guess we don't know for sure but i feel like tyrus and tyra might piss off ferris and them i think wait i don't probably, think they would well because they don't want to do anything that's blasphemous or against to the water and the water yeah artist, right and Tyrus and Tyra are like, kill everything. Let's kill giant <laughs> sharks. Let's find yeah, a so fucking squid and murder it. Like, True, actually, she did say about killing a shark, so. I mean. Well, so the, whisp think... the Whispers guy kind of works because if he can sense monsters, then we can dispatch the Nord people to the monster. And then the fisherman can focus on sailing. That's true. Uh, Joe... Mm -hmm. I understand if you can't like really tell us this, but mm -hmm. like putting together a group that doesn't have like great synergy isn't an automatic fail. It just means it'll no. be a little bit difficult. It means for them so, to upkeep morale, right? Yeah, I will have the way that the ship's crew quality works is I'm going to separate that. Um, that's usually just a normal system. I'm going to have their own quality ratings, which will be hidden to you guys, and that might lower mm -hmm. and increase date base and everything. But the general list will keep going up and down. Um, if they're both in the low morale, they're more likely to clash and maybe cause a fight with each other because their frustrations will carry over. <clears throat> it'll be stuff like that. So it'll be, uh, I'll mostly be playing it by ear and how it works. But if everyone's happy and you're kind of finding a way to adhere to both sides, it's kind of one of those moments where it's like, you do something that says, Ferris approves of this, Tyra and Tyra uh, disapprove of this. <laughs> Ferris so will kind of remember that. Like that. So you'll get, yeah, you'll get like kind of moments like that essentially. Um, if you can find a way to balance two crews that, that have little synergy, then... Okay, who all can do cannons? The mercenaries were at disadvantage. 
the pirates obviously can use cannons. Yeah. The fishermen can't use cannons, so it's the pirates so far. Uh, the can the Ulga them. can do the cannons, and they get that multi attack with them. Can the, whis can the whisper people do cannons? The whisper people, some of them can, because some of them are sailors, right? The, yeah. the whispers can. can all use cannons. They just don't get any advantage or disadvantage. Can. They're just straight. Right. Oh, that's fine. Right. Pirates and Pyra cannot. Correct. Mm -hmm. Correct. Correct. They mostly work and then the, the wolf guard people can do half Dahlia of them. Dahlia Westmore's uh, le not that they really matter, but Dahlia Westmore's um, scavengers can any of them? Use they could do two half. of them. You can use half your cannon. Okay. Right. Um, Shane, yes. you haven't gotten a, a word in edgewise. Well, how are you feeling? What do you I, What do you think? On one hand, I feel like we don't. I don't feel like we need a lot. A lot of people. Like, the less people we have, the better I can keep them topped off in general. So I'm definitely leaning towards Tyrus and Tyra as one of ours. Okay. Because I also feel like they're going to be really strong people as well, which would also be nice. Um, on the other hand, so what was Floop's whole shtick again? Um, essentially, their best thing is that they're able to catch a lot of food and the crew quality starts at a higher level. That's the major thing. Yeah, because they were happy. They're just like yeah. happy fishermen. That's like yeah. their thing. <laughs> and they love they love the captain. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if there's a mutiny, then they would be on the side of the captain. So basically, if so it was a mutiny, would they necessarily Tyra, hate Tyrus and Tyra if, I mean, they're technically fishermen just fighting bigger fish. But I think if I recall, <laughs> yeah, if I recall, um, Floop and, and them were like, and co. We, yeah, we just prefer oh, not to like. Yeah, Fight. we don't want to go yeah. looking for trouble because we can't. You know, we'll run basically. Yeah, I hmm. think like ability wise, the brother and sister and the whispers like abilities. I feel like mesh the best. It's just that their personalities might not mesh the best, but ability wise, they make the most sense to me. I don't know if. What do you think, Sam? Well. The brother and sister could probably also come on land with us. They just like hunting, hunting monsters. So we could probably... Yeah. It's a lot of shit to hunt Unless their service is beyond the boat trip. It's true. also true. Uh, I also think less people is better as well. Same as Timothy. And they they can fight. And the Whisper people can do magic. So that's a good, good little combat lineup. So we just need sailors. The fishermen people is free food for everyone, and the less people we have, the easier it is the feed. I'm easy, man. You want to try to take? You want to take all three? Yeah. The fishermen. Tyrus and Tyra Ferris. The whispers. And the I also say that the only ones which have a deduction to food will be the mercenaries. Tyrus and Tyra will eat the equivalent to six people. They are, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's that tracks right. They, yeah. they don't ration. That makes sense, yeah. So bringing the fishermen works with them. Cause right, they'll... yeah, because that's extra food. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, they consider themselves a full crew. If we, yeah, if we're like strict, <laughs> Tyra and Tyrus, and we're like, we're not raiding. Yeah, as long as we don't raid, I think we can just monster hunt. You can fish the same way that they're fishing. <laughs> and if we and get then... a ping that something's about to attack the ship, we'll call you. And if it we go on land that, and there's any help with on land then we'll make sure that they're straight up on the front lines to fight with us how hot are they Tyra and Tyra. <laughs> yeah actually yeah, no, they sounded pretty they said it, right. it kind of hot it's kind of like a, a, a kind of a Ragnar Lagatha looking deal kind of uh, oh, okay. maybe a bit better looking we'll they've got those kind of, on them they'll be distracted yeah. it's totally yeah. fine they've got those Scandinavian um, good looks so okay so if we take all it, Make words. If we take those three groups, I don't know. It's like got away from me. If we take those three groups, they gave us 70 for the fishermen. 70 gold, sorry, is what I meant there. 200 for Tyrus and Tyra. And 200 for the Whisper Gang. Uh -huh. um, right? If we're okay with that, we don't... If we want to try and negotiate that any farther... Well, we should negotiate. We can... Um, 
I mean, I guess not with the fisherman because we already negotiated that. We don't really need to yeah, like. I, we can't do anything. It seems that. mean at that point. Yeah. We already negotiated that one. Um, we just need to negotiate Tyrus and Tyra and the fair. Uh, yeah. We might be able to appeal to Tyrus and Tyra like. I, do you know what? A good adventure, but I do think, right? If yeah. we're like, so here's the deal: we're going to Wolfguard. We're on the trail of like these crazy people. Plus, Fia has her own crazy person she's trying to get at. Plus, there's a shit ton of undead in Wolfguard, like running rampant over the entire country. Maybe they'll knock some money off. Well, let's go uh, see if they will, and maybe we can use Basil or Fia to convince them. We also need to get the cooking shit as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's going to be more money after this as well. Yeah, we'll have to kick in some extra, I think, probably. I'm but that's okay. I'm fine with not staying to 500 gold. That sure yeah, I that I am as well. It does. seems pretty low, so. We have money. We, we do have money. money. Mm -hmm. Well, I just earned 35 gold from punching someone, so. Uh, also, while we're... <laughs> it's also true. While we're mm -hmm. um, at the ship, the, the whatever the fuck, mm -hmm. where they are, we can talk to Judy as well. The turtle. Yeah, the turtle. Oh yeah, so she's also there. Yeah. Yeah. So let's go to the let's go back to the tavern. We can talk to the brother and sister and talk to the turtle and whoever else may be there. I guess. Okay. So who are we worried is going to have conflict? The fisherman and the no. Well, fjord? we think that the raiders might have conflict with kind of might rub everyone the wrong way because they're like, fuck it, let's raid. And the fishermen are going to be like, what? We're so nice. And then the whispers are going to be like, mm, don't kill sea creatures. We don't, we don't know what anything. it means. Well, yeah, when... they'll just <laughs> make bitch yeah. faces. We don't know what it means when the Ferris group says, like, as long as you don't do anything blasphemous. blasphemous. Are they going to turn that shit on us then and be like, actually, like, what blasphemer and shoot us with I guess. fire? Well, so yeah. I mean... double check. They weren't like implying sea creatures. They explained who their god was. So as long as you, you can figure what out. What did they say? Sakata and who? Aquena uh, or Aquiana, yeah. Aquiana. Aquiana and Sakata. Aquiana is the goddess of storm, sea, etc. Um, think Poseidon. And uh, Sakata is the god of magic and discovery. He's the one where you found cool. uh, back in the first town you went to. Uh, you saw a. Yeah, yeah. He's burnt down thing. Can we do like a religion check or something? If we know whether or not those gods have like um, beef, <laughs> beef with another yeah. with another god yeah. or anything like like that mm. sort of stuff to just know ahead of time. Yeah, I'd say uh, roll a religion check. Yeah. Oh shit! I had advantage. I was I got a thirteen anyway. Uh, I'd say you have advantage though, uh, Timothy. Tim Tan, the advantage man. <laughs> not this Net guy. Twenty. Oh Net 20. shit. Yes. So you would know that Aquiana and Sakata um, were lovers. Um, they Ooh. became gods at a similar time. And they do, they were, Aquiana was quite friendly with uh, the goddess of adventure and destiny um, and took her on trips with her. Um, they clashed with Ados, as did most people. And they weren't entirely... Sakata wasn't entirely fond of the forge itself. Seeing it as kind of a um, a misuse of magic. Even despite being a hypocrite in that. So you would know that... Ados and... Uh, and yeah, like... Uh, the forge in general. And kind of any gods that were like the forge god himself. Or... Yeah, along those lines. But... If you appeal to the, the element of destiny and adventure, you might be able to appeal to that as well. Um, in terms of blasphemes, anything that would be a misuse of magic. And Necromancy? for Equiena, more so if you were to go and unnecessarily hunt big creatures, they weren't okay. attacking you, it probably would piss them off because you're destroying the ecosystem. Or right. if you... Uh, yeah, anything that might be unnecessary. If Does it attacks you, so, no. So fishing with the intent to eat them yeah. is not it's cool. Is fun. like fine, but attacking something just to hold it up and be like, I killed this, not good. Yeah, that yeah. That seems kind of a yeah. What if you were excited that you killed it and then also ate it? 
And then also I mean, use the but the... that'd be down to uh, to, <laughs> to showmanship <laughs> and here's the thing. Here's the, based on what Joe has been saying to us this whole fucking time and what all these people do, we will get attacked at some point. Yeah, for so sure. They will fulfill Actually, an obligation of enjoyable combat and so, we won't have to do anything. So that's so just I a say, chance. I will say that I don't have anything planned for the season in terms of guarantee. So uh, it's gonna be yeah. rolled and it's gonna be a lot of randomization. So you, you it's yeah. more about preparing yourself for every situation. Oh, yeah, well, that's easy to do in real life, so I feel great about this. We're prepared for literally everything. Also, worst case scenario, if they get, like, real pissy, then uh, Skull and Sphera can just fight them on the boat. Throw them off. Yeah, we'll just <laughs> until they have dump them away. over. Yeah. Here we go. We're sacrificing them to the goddess of the sea. It's true. It's true. <laughs> okay, fuck it. Yeah, let's get all three. Yeah. So, okay, yeah, so we'll go to the tavern. We'll talk to the brother and sister and the turtle. Yeah? Yeah. I don't, and I let's forget if, if anyone there. else is there. Okay. Their ca um, cash money down. Before we do kick off into that, though, we'll take a few minute break quickly and then um, let everyone go to Lou and everything. Cool. And then we'll come back with the cooks, etc. cetera. Um, and and the cool. rest of the crew. All right. Thank you, guys. Be right back. All right. <laughs> All right, chat. I'll put our theme song on and let you guys kind of step away to uh, use Lose Yourselves. We'll be back in just a few minutes.
Hello, chat. Okay, we'll be getting everyone up in a second um, so we can uh, get through the rest of it. We'll kind of speed through so we can get to their crew sections and whatnot. Um, if you do want to check out the Patreon, where I'll be posting up all the notes in this, if you've been enjoying this kind of mini game, I designed it myself. I used the Wizard of the Coast's official, or like, Unearthed Arcana version of their ship rules, the crew quality, and I've kind of edited that and built off my own thing. But all of these are uh, unique um, NPCs and abilities um, that I've kind of gone for. Um, so if you want access to that, it's on the basic tier of my Patreon. So uh, you can get access to all those notes. Along with that, you can see some homebrew and, uh, and other stuff that I make. Um, I'm going to unmute for these guys and just chat to some of them whilst we wait. Right, I'm going to unmute and just chat to you guys whilst uh, we have the others get back. Oh. All right, let me bring down the music. Hello, hello, hello. All right. All right. Um, I got cereal instead. Good plan. Mm -mm. Okay. Once everyone's back, we can get started again. But, um, yeah, you still have the cooks. There's only three of these ones in each one. The cooks, the helmsman, quartermaster, the bosun, and the surgeons. Go through. And there's only two surgeons. Um, you don't have to have these filled, but they come with their own benefits. These are probably going to be the ones which have the biggest benefits to you, I imagine, as like a personal group. Um, but if you want to continue, we can we can we can go back to uh, we can leave off, continue with uh, you going and speaking to Tyra and Tyrus if you like, just for the sake of yeah. time. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Okay. So you head into Aquiana's cough, come back into the familiar tavern area. They're sat there. You can see that they've both got a chicken each. They've ordered an entire chicken each. Um, and they've got like some sides as well, just kind of a mix of like breads and whatnot. And they're both. I was telling you okay. that <laughs> if they take us, I get the first kill. No way. No way. I'm going to do it. They look at you as you kind of approach. Ah, see, we're just arguing over who's going to get the first kill. Me. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking... The Krieg then? No way. No way. They're not as good as us. I'm sorry, you're kind I'm of slow. I'm better both of you combined. No way. No way. Not true. Not true. Anyway. You come to the deal with us? Well, I think we'd like to... Uh, we'd like to discuss it. Great. Okay. Okay. How um how quickly can you be ready to go? We're ready now. You want your spear? I got my spear, brother. Of course, I've got my spear. Brother. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um. Okay. Okay. We're gonna. We're actually bringing on some other uh, crews as well. Oh. Um. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Why? Well, certainly you seem very fearsome and very capable, but um, it is a schooner and two people just, it just doesn't feel like maybe enough. So we're gonna. Hey, we're just going off of your word, man. We don't know you yeah, guys. We don't know you. So we don't know you. bringing fishermen. You wanna go hungry? Yeah, we that as well. Okay, I guess you can bring some fishermen. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, yeah you guess. Um, what, um, just out of curiosity, what, uh, what do you guys do in a, in a fight? Like a spear and a, what is the other, what is the brother? Oh, have? lose everything. Whatever, sharp. Uh, oh, even not sharp. Yes, he once killed someone with a plank of wood. Nice. That is cool. Do you do, um, do you do any magic? They look at each other. Fuck no! No! Fuck no! <laughs> Do, uh, judging by that reaction, how do you guys feel about magic? Get it all out. Yeah. Like warlocks? They put curses on you. We've seen it. Huh? Not everybody who does magic puts curses on people. Slightly offended. The only ones we've come across <laughs> we've had to kill. Yes. Why? They put the curse on my brother. What kind of curse? 
Well, they gave him Ichi. They gave yes. him Ichi? I had sex with a witch. Wait, wait, I'm sorry. That you had, like a you problem, yeah. dude. You had that sex with a witch. Like a magic problem. And then you got itchy? Because I don't think that's magic. <laughs> I think that happens. I don't... You can't... My sister killed her regardless. It was a spell. Okay, sure. We sure Did the itching make the itch go away? No, that does not remove a curse. But we stopped her from putting it on anyone else. We did, bro. How did, how did you stop the itching? <laughs> I, time. I just put lots of snow on it. I, it took away over it time. It still itches, doesn't it? Not you many can be more. Honest. Only occasionally. Are you sure? <laughs> Only occasionally. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, <clears throat> what if you're on a ship with people who can do magic? If we see them casting any curses, we'll kill them. Hi. How do you know what a curse looks like? Like each other. So basically, as long as you don't fuck any of them, you're fine, right? Not all curses are fucking, just most of them. Mm, yeah? How else do you get curses? Well, <laughs> one time, uh huh, I ate food made by a warlock, and I got sick. I killed him. Do you know, do you know <laughs> it was a warlock, or did you speculate that it was a warlock because you got sick? It was a man in a dress. Yes. Now, some men wear dresses. That's not... He's wearing a dress. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> so, here's the thing. We will have people with it's us. It's bimbo and himbo. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to have people with us who can cast magic. You cannot kill them. They're not going to pull curses on you. As a matter of fact, anyone who we hire, we're going to make them sign a contract that says they won't curse any of the crew what members. What is a contract? It's like a, an agreement and you write down what like you're going to do. I don't think this is going to work. No, it's not no. like a devil. Wait, no. wait, 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 wait. <laughs> we'll come along. We won't, we won't kill them. There's going to... We're going to have to lay some ground rules, I feel like, right? You can't kill anybody of the crew. If you feel like someone may have cursed you or looked at you funny and now you've got an itch, you need to come to us. Yeah, not talk, to that talk, person. Talk first. You not cannot me. fight them. I don't know why I'm roping myself into this. Don't come to me. I will give you bad advice. Don't go to her. Check. Don't go to me. <laughs> don't go to her. <laughs> <laughs> Roll a persuasion check. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. Well, it's going to go great. A 17. Okay, we come to you first. We tell you about the curse. But you have to get the healer. I raise my hand. I can remove her. You can remove yeah. curses? Yeah. He removed the, the, the curse brother, from the him the other day. <laughs> the brother's gonna get sister. I was cursed not two days ago. It was gross. By a nasty giant. <laughs> it's real nasty, yeah. Which I killed. You can yeah, remove a curse? bubbles on him and stuff. He looks at Timothy. It's easy. It still itches, doesn't it? <laughs> Do you want him to help you with the itch? Can you remove a curse? Yeah. It's not a curse, dude. He needs medicine. <laughs> then, but it maybe it could be healed. <laughs> just gen like just normal healing. <laughs> Save to me on the ship. Cry. Well, come along. <laughs> but you have to remove my curse. All right. If we <laughs> wait, I want to like knock wait, some yeah, money hold off. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Yeah, if he's gonna remove your like, how long have you had this itching thing going? I'm crying. Like, I'm quite sorry. a while. Not that long, like... just about eight months. Okay, that's a decent amount of time to be itchy. <laughs> I assume in your genitals. So, how about can we you just knock some money off, <laughs> and we'll heal you up and take you on a sick adventure? The cool kind of sick, not the oh, itchy yeah. kind well, of sick. persuasion check with advantage. Lago slang. Right, what are you gonna say, Sam? Also, <laughs> forget about the monsters on the sea. Come with us to hunt the monsters of the land. We're on land now, Krigvin. What do you Have mean? You been to Wolfguard? Not here, you fucking clown. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know. <laughs> what is clown, brother? I don't know. Some sort of curse, man. When we get there. Have you, have you been to Wolfguard? Wolfguard We've been to the, is the land show. of the undead. I haven't gone much further than the shore on Wolfgard, but we've landed on it briefly. 
What? Why did you leave? Oh. We raided the town. There's no need to go. Oh, you were scared. It's okay to say you were scared. I do not get scared. <laughs> My brother does not get scared. <laughs> okay. We're planning. <clears throat> then come with us, right? Do you want to? How much see what do you want to see? How much is curse worth? Ooh. Ooh. How much is a curse worth when you get it? When you go to a healer? About 100 gold, I think. I think it is, yeah. That's that's mm. about how much I charge. That's about, yeah. <laughs> Roll a persuasion check. <laughs> Timo Who? Timothy. <laughs> Can you get Cause advantage? Because into... we're all like... Yeah, because oh, they're helping. It's... You get advantage, yeah. yeah. Come on, Timmy. <laughs> my oh my god! Okay, 19. <gasps> <How did> I... <laughs> it took forever for the 19 to one. come up. <laughs> okay, 50 gold each. No, but it's your curse. Oh, that's 80 fair. gold for me, 20 gold for him, 100 gold. That's <laughs> that's fair. Okay. <laughs> okay. Great. Okay. Um. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Remember, if you think anybody on the ship has put a curse on you, you're gonna come to us. Come do before and not take care of it yourself. Yes. And you don't have any curses. No. Instead of remove curse, I'm gonna go up to him and. Uh, Use lesser restoration to cure disease. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Amazing. As you do that, he sees the... He looks down to... I don't feel the itch. <laughs> I don't feel the itch. Timmy's a Curse miracle worker. <laughs> I did not expect this turn in this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Neither did I. Good. Amazing. We Is like this after the watershed? <laughs> Uh, okay. Okay. We'll meet you on your ship. Okay. Nice. You see him kind of reach his hand down. He... he starts like touching around to see, make sure there's no itch anywhere. And he pulls it back up and he picks up a piece of chicken with the same hand. Just yeah. Of course works. he does. <laughs> yeah, he does. Did they know which ship is ours? Yeah, they, they were the ones who approached you. They saw what you're trying to... Oh, uh, yeah, they saw. Uh... Okay, yeah, there you go. Yeah. Sick. Okay. Okay. Who else? So we can look for the turtle here. Was there anybody else that we knew was here? Um, so just because I, I don't have the list easily, because I have to scroll down like six pages of stuff. Um, <clears throat> don't worry about efficiency on this bit. Like you, we can just say whilst you're here, you spoke to this one. It doesn't really matter what timeline this is okay. in. Yeah. Let's just cut together. Okay. So let's do the cooks next then. Coincidentally, yeah. they're all on break at the tavern. <laughs> <laughs> Great. So let's... which cook would you like to go after first? I mean, we we can go in order. Yeah, sure. Falamon. Yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Okay. Um, you would find Falamon is um, a kind of a, a chef that's going to be cooking in the local area in the marketplace. Um, you'd go out into the markets and you'd you'd find him there. Uh, you come across a triton, which is kind of like a fish person. Blue, blue skin, scales across him. Um, kind of green fins on the top end. A little bit regal with his fins that go down his back. He's cooking up various forms of fish um, and and some kind of local game. Um, some crabs and stuff as well as there as well on the marketplace as you come up. He's got an apron on and he's kind of flipping crabs up and down like a, a kind of a, a, a casket. Uh, a cast iron pan. And it's he's flicking them up and down with the shells on and then he presses them down and like crunches them. Hi, would you like some crab? Smells it. Does it smell nice? Smells good. Yeah, sure. Okay. He yeah, gets it and he just pees it. Doesn't worry about the heat. Just pulls it off in one thing, getting all the meat out. He scoops it and he nice. kind of puts it all into a little plate. Has it to you? Okay. Two Aww. silver. Two silver. Hey, thanks. Anything else? Um, Let me try some. Hey. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, Take no, it. I don't need that. I'm a rabbit. Fuck off. I want that. Are you sure? You want to try it? It's first time for everything. <laughs> All right, yeah, I'll try it. Just try it. Not, I won't tell anybody. Like no, no. <laughs> Get it up to her. Ah, no, I can smell it. <laughs> um, <laughs> we are, uh, <laughs> we're looking, we're looking to hire a cook for our crew. I can't. I've had enough. I'm out. <laughs> <It's okay. laughs> That's what. That's a, to me over the edge. Uh, yes, a, a cook for a voyage to Wolfgard. Oh. Okay. Interested? 
in knowing who you're picking. No, are are you interested in the job? Oh, in potential in coming um, with. He takes off his apron. Um, sure. Uh, I mean, yes. not right now. Also, we're gonna interview. You're just. <clears throat> we got a name of a couple of cooks, and you're on the list. So we wanted to talk to you and see if you were I'm interested in the. Okay. Oh, <laughs> okay. Um, have you ever been to Wolfguard? No. Ever been on a ship? Yeah. I get seasick. Okay. I've been on a ship. Okay. What um, what's your what's your best dish that you that you make as she eats crab? Um, I don't think I have dishes. I just kind of cook things quick. Oh, okay. All right. Can you cook for a large amount of people? You okay with that? Yeah. Uh, uh, when it gets busy here in the marketplace, I do that. Okay. I don't know what other kind of questions you ask a cook. Uh, okay. Can I bring Let the stool? Let me try your food. Okay, would you like? I got fish. I got some local game. I've also got some fish. vegetables. Okay. He kind of gets a bit of a fish. And you can see him. He's very fast at uh, removing all the bones and, and um, kind of peeling it across. Put him into the pan, and he's already cooking it within like seconds. Under a minute, he's already got it there. Um, you see him kind of take some of his season. He puts it on, and uh, he puts it onto a little bit of bread <clears> on the side, <throat> and just like kind of lays it very clean on it, and hands it across to you. And you notice he's a very fast chef. <laughs> there you go. Uh, I don't have a name for it, but hope you enjoy. How is it? Very good. He's a good chef. Not bad. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, okay, um, well, I think we're probably going to talk to everyone else on our list, and then we'll get back to you. We can find you here, yeah? All right. Don't mean to be cheeky, though. Um, if you don't hire me, could you pay for that fish? Just two silver. Yeah. Appreciate Give it. some two silver. Oh, thank you. oh wait, how much would it cost to hire you? We forgot to ask that part. Oh, I forgot um, to ask that part. Oh, yeah. Duh. For a long journey? Uh, 30 gold. Okay. Okay. Cool. Okay, thank cool. you. Puts his apron back on. Also, like some fish. Cool. And he gets back to it. Um, his abilities. Uh, cooks, uh, I think all of them have three abilities. The first one is called Shipmates. On the first round of initiative, Phalamon is able to cook up a number of treats up to his wisdom modifier, which is six, um, and have them pass the same number of creatures. These treats are 1d4 plus the crew's quality score. They're healing treats and can be eaten with a bonus action. They go stale after eight hours and you can do it once per day. So it will heal... Um, that gets stronger based on the quality of the crew. Okay. That's um, pretty that's good. His second one is, uh, try <laughs> this. Falamon has three new concoctions in the kitchen. You roll a d8. On a one, you take 1d6 uh, plus two poison damage. On a two, <laughs> uh, a two through seven is advantage to the following scores, strength, con dex, con, etc. Uh, going down. So you get advantage to the ability scores and saving throws for one hour. Um, and on an eight, you get to choose which one. Um, nice. Cool. You can do that once per week. And Finn to win, Phalamon is able to hunt for food enough to feed people up to the crew's quality level and himself per day. He must succeed on a survival check plus the crew's quality level, um, DC 10 in shallow waters and DC 15 in deeper. So you can dive in and get some okay. food for you guys. Okay. Depending how good the crew is. Um, so I will link those here. Um, okay. <coughs> Where would you like to go next? Uh, next. Next cook. Some dwarf who is shacking up in the soggy boot. That's what it says. <laughs> yep. <laughs> this one's going to be a winner. <laughs> okay. Um, heading over to the soggy boot, which is another tavern just closer to the uh, the second tier of the city. Uh, and the gates there. It's an old tavern. It doesn't really fit the uh, architecture of the other ones. Um, it has a, wet, a, a boot standing in a puddle as its symbol as you go in. Um, heading into the, the place, you can see it's kind of... Trench foot. Um, it's quite a nice little tavern. Uh, quite quaint. Smaller than the other one. Much smaller. And uh, more familiar to the other towns you've been to. Uh, you can see kind of your traditional sorts. It looks almost a little bit piratey um, in the way that you've got people walking around, kind of rough sorts. And um, it seems to be a place where when people dock here, they from places like Pennytown, they might seem to go here. Um, the bartender's kind of a big bald man and he's uh he's just kind of putting some mugs up onto a shelf as you're going to come in 
You don't Hello. see a dwarf in here. Hello. Hey, we're uh, we're looking. Is there a, a dwarf who works here, or? Oh, the chef. There. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, ever since this morning, no. Oh. Whoa. No. Oh, he's packing up his things. I fired him. Oh, for well, what? what? Oh, yeah. He's a terrible chef. He goes he's back bad. Up Awful. His food just bland. Okay. I don't know this guy. I don't know if he has a refined palate. Maybe he's wrong. This doesn't help. Uh, oh, is he? Can we? Can we talk to him? Yeah, he's in the kitchen. Don't take it if. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'll just go talk to him. Uh, as you're kind of walking into the kitchen, and then you can hear, I told you, I'm getting my stuff. I'm going to take the food I brought with me. And you hear this clump as a leg hits against the ground. As you come into the kitchen, Does he have a peg leg? you recognize he does have a peg leg. He has a, has a single peg leg. It's a small dwarf. And you recognize him. Is it as Ovid? He, he turns to look at you and it is Ovid. Motherfucker! You left him, at the mouth, he looks at you and goes, Oh no. Uh oh. Uh, Ovid! What? <laughs> he puts a hand over his face. Um. No! You're a... Dude, it's you, man. We already saw your face. It's cool. Yeah, okay. we're, we're not here to kill you. What are you healing? Are you a chef now? Sort of. I hear you suck at it. Did you no, just get I fired? Did. <laughs> yeah, I did, I. But <laughs> it wasn't my fault. I can't help it. No? He said your food is bland. I it's really bland. I By on purpose? No, I don't know how to cook. How did you get this job? Oh, well, that's what I'm good at. Getting jobs. No, I am good at talking and influencing people. That's what I do. Not that I've ever done okay. to you guys. I mean I think about the uh the oh <laughs> misunderstanding really. Okay. Um I've got to get my things and go. Where are you going? I don't know. <laughs> How do you feel about Wolfguard? What do you mean? We're going to Wolfguard. We're going to Wolfguard. Your Have name is on our, well, not your name. You're on our list as a potential cook for our voyage. That yeah, there's we're no putting fucking together way you're cooking, crew. but you can come if you want. Yeah. Yeah, do you want to just come to Wolfguard? You can't cook. You're bad at it. Oh. I'm expensive. Yeah. Yeah. What, what what can you offer us on this trip to Wolfguard that would make us want to pay you and not just give well, you I free might not passage be able to somewhere else? Right, but I can tell people what to think. What? Hey, I can, I can, you, you, you worried. You're thinking to yourself, ah, oh, no, the crew hates me. No, I I'm can... thinking you're an idiot. No, you don't. You know I'm smart. <laughs> you know I get places. I'm a survivor. I've always said that. I can you are a survivor. Me. You're like a cockroach. I, I appreciate that. Anyway, Good love I can... <laughs> You've got an idea. I can spread it around the crew and make them love you. That's what I do. If what if they can... already love us? If you can help keep everybody happy, we'll pay you. <clears throat> I you can do that. That's what Not I a do. lot, though. 80 gold. <clears throat> 20. 70. 20. <laughs> 65. 40. That's it. He points at him. 50, it's midway. 45. 45. 47. <laughs> I just started at 80. <laughs> you gave me more than midway. Okay, 45. I'm calm. 45 gold. Tempting as though this... Might be. We do have somebody else on our list that we'd like to talk to. Okay. Where can we find you? If, uh, since you're not going to be here because you just got fired. I don't know. Uh, I'll probably go and apply for the... a job at the, uh, at Queen's Cough. Yeah. We'll, we'll see you there. <laughs> hey. Okay. So, <laughs> Ovid's abilities is that he's not a cook. Uh, he's a cook. He takes up the cook role. Um, 
His first <clears> thing <throat> is a disadvantage, which is one star. The crew's quality score cannot be increased by a large amount of food caught. You can't increase your, your quality by food. However, he does have some strong abilities. He has Seeds of Trust. Whereas your crew's quality score will always go up and down, depending on what you do, um, every time the crew takes a penalty to the crew's quality score, it must roll a d20 plus Ovid's Charisma, which is a plus three. If it's above 10, it doesn't lower. You can do that three times per week. Mm. Um, oh, Captain, my captain, his other ability, which is when rolling to prevent a mutiny, the captain, which would usually do an intimidation or persuasion check, can choose someone else to make the intimidation or persuasion check. They also have advantage on the roll. So he's pretty much your... Interesting. Go to like he's he's based on John he's, Silver. He's basically the lucky feet in a human, yeah on a boat. <clears throat> yeah, he's based on John Silver essentially. Um, not a real cook there to kind of so distrustful. Why person. can't I remember who he is? I'm like trying to think. Ovid who he is, but... is the guy you found down in the um in the nest of the Krothic, the... and you saved remember him with one leg. Like... Yeah, and then he was like, "Oh, the Earl was pouring Krothic ceremonies. The... That's why I went to." Jail, even though Jidari, he... he's the guy that was actually meant to be like he was on death row. Yeah, yeah, he, and he got out. Remember him now when we and found you, him, yeah, yeah. You ditched him Didn't outside. we kick him or something? Yeah, it, yeah. Get rid of him, like he came out yeah. with us, and we were like, hit the road, dude. He tried to take my staff, and I was like, uh, uh-uh, mother trucker, give me that and back. You said that you might run into him someday, and so here he is. <laughs> so yeah, he's the okay. John Silver of the crew. If you want him. All right, well, let's find our total friend, potential okay. friend. Yeah, they wanted the the uh, fishing people wanted the wanted to her right the the, the turtle. turtle. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's who they yeah. recommended. So, um, <clears throat> oh, the fisherman recommended the turtle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They do like it. You head in similar fashion. You're you're invited to go into the kitchens of uh, Aquina's cough, and uh, you would find in the back room, in front of a big cauldron, very slowly stirring. Is a large turtle lady. Um, looks like she's aged a bit. You can see a lot of wrinkles in her face. And she smiles and turns to you. Hello. Hello. I'm already in. It's yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> hi. We're, uh, you're, we're looking to hire a crew for a I'm journey to... Judy. Oh, hi, Judy. <laughs> it's great to meet you. You motherfucker, Joe. Hey. <laughs> so, wait a second. Crack me. Oh, Judy. Stairs. God, this wait, is, please, this, me. This is the yeah. sloth out of zoo. Uh, of yeah, it is. Zootopia. <laughs> We need a cook for a ship. We need a Do you cook. Want to take a ride to Wolfgard. You were recommended to us by. Um... I think you're saying too much. Slow down. What? I'm Slow down. Taking it all in there. Are you Wolfgard? interested in a? Bad? Yeah. I have a job here. How much do they pay you? Fair. Two gold a week. Is that a good price? Uh, no. Yeah, above board. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I enjoy my cooking. You could still cook just, just on a, on ship, a ship going on a sick adventure. Do you enjoy adventure? Yes. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Do you know Farm Floop? May I try your cooking? Yes. Scold is horrified that, like, no one else is asking to try the food of these cooks. <laughs> Grab the spoon. Well, we know, I tried the, I tried the street vendor stuff. We know Ovid's a shit cook. She puts yeah. a spoon into True. the, into the broth and then hands it over. All right. Oh, yeah, they said she makes a great broth. Describe taste. Yeah, it's, uh, extremely well seasoned. It's got fuller flavors. You can kind of get, um, 
it's it's a it's another fish one, you know, which is obvious. Mixed in with some vegetables because you're you're down on the seafront. Um, it's quite thick. It's quite creamy, which is a rarity around. Um, uh, I mean, in these times, most people cook very kind of water-based broths. That one is almost like a soup, a nice kind of creamier soup, and it's full of flavor. It's very tasty. I mean, but it takes her a while to make it. I bet. Working on this for two weeks now. Oh Jesus! <laughs> wow, that's really impressive. <sighs> Thank you, dear. How long does this last for? This broth? As long as I keep it hot. Makes sense. Um, are you... Are you interested in the trip? If the pay is right. Dear. Much what you like. Sidebar, she said she just paid two gold a week. What did, yeah. it was going to be like a six week trip. Dude, if like, if we offer her the same that we, the other dudes wanted. Let's double it. Fake for her. Whoa. Yeah, right? <laughs> like, uh, what would you charge? Two gold a week? God damn it. <laughs> Okay. Um, Let's give her four. <laughs> okay. Well, you did come highly recommended uh, to us. Yes. Um, yeah. So maybe you know some of the crews Thank we might be working you. with. Oh, bless you. <laughs> okay. Um, Do you know uh, from Floop and the Fisher Folk? Yes. Oh, no. Oh, we lost Dodger. Yeah. She got too excited. She left. She couldn't handle it. Sorry. Wait. <laughs> how am I still here then? Oh, I just back. <laughs> <laughs> no. He's just waiting. <clears throat> From Floop? Yes. Good boy. <laughs> I've never <laughs> wanted to kill Joe more than in this moment. What do you mean? This is the best character he's ever come up with. <laughs> yeah. He's going to be typecast forever now. Um, Look at Joe, he's still staring. Yeah. <laughs> so, if, um, would, would you be ready to leave uh, yeah, shortly? Can we, <laughs> Joe, can we tell at a glance how long this broth would last? Like, how many people it would feed? Yeah, could we just could we just find I out? I feel her like abilities? this is going to be oh, amazing. Yeah. Chef produces food really slowly. Yeah, situation. like what's yeah, her deal? She is, she is essentially. I'll give you her her abilities. Yeah. Um, based on that, she is the slow chef. Yes. Um, her abilities are morning stew. After consuming the morning meal of uh, of duty, every crew member gains one d three plus the crew's quality score in temporary hit points. That includes oh, anyone wow. else that's fighting with you. Um, wow. They fade that's on a long rest. Yeah. So essentially, compared to the, the first guy, it's uh, he does like a heal one this one's for, yeah. for temporary hit points basic across the day uh leftovers uh duty is able to make the most out of the little she has the crew can go a number of days up to its quality modifier before starving they only lose one morale every two days without food and bountiful meal yes, if the crew quality score drops below zero duty can choose to spend all of the food on a feast the crew's quality score increases by two and immunity is prevented she can only do that once per trip so she would use up all of your food okay. but prevent a mutiny and then you starve and have a mutiny. I mean, yeah, buys you time. <laughs> Essentially, it's yeah, just buy yeah. you time. She, she buys but you time. No, 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 I know. A crew of fishermen. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We'd get, we'd get uh, I mean, I don't know. I feel like she's probably. It's if you want a fast cook, if you want a, a, a slower cook, or if you want someone to spread. We... I would like, say... I like. Yeah. Sorry, go ahead. We, we have less people to feed than if we took any other combination of people. And. Uh, it sounds like they only have to eat like once every two days anyway, but we could also use uh, old peg leg as, yeah. her, assist as her assistant. And <laughs> oh shit. And then speed up the meals. 
Yeah, like, Joe, can we hire both Just like them? Black Sails. Uh, if you hire both of them, I'd probably knock off a couple of Ovid's abilities, just so it doesn't become incredibly overpowered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, sure. But you'd probably still get one of his abilities, yeah. Which I'd probably let you pick. Could we could we hire her, not necessarily Ovid, but could we hire her like an assistant? To yeah. Speed it up, to um, speed up her cooking? I think she would still be the daily uh, uh, temporary hit points. Um, but I'd say if you got one, I'd probably knock it to a D4 instead of a D3. So it's kind of just helps her along a little bit. Mm, okay. It, some of these abilities might get improved as time goes on anyway, because yeah. this is kind of playtesting <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah. Mm. Okay. System. Okay. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I feel like she's probably the best, like, right? Yeah. I think she be every exactly. morning is real good. I think the fact that the fishermen love her as well would yeah. really go a good way to repairing the relationship that no doubt the Nords are going to damage. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely, they will. We just have to distract them. Just yeah. eat some broth. It's okay. Shut up. It's going to be constantly like playing cards with them and shit and be like, hey, look at this. Do a trick for us. Yeah, show us how you can lift yeah, yeah. somebody or, yeah, carry that rope across the. Di I don't know. <laughs> It's like having two toddlers that could murder you <laughs> at any moment. Um, <laughs> yeah, okay. I don't know. So if we're, I guess we're still there, right? And we would all just... Do we agree on good old Judy? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So uh, as she's stirring... Um, okay, Judy, we really would like to hire you. Um, but I'm not sure what day we're leaving. I can... Oh, oh no! She's gonna be put like a month. My things away <laughs> hastily. So if if she's asking for two gold a week and it's gonna take six ish weeks, she's not asking for much. We could offer her twenty. I think so, right? I feel like yeah. that's fair. Also, yeah. I feel like a good thing to do would be like ask her for a list of ingredients. Oh shit, yeah. yeah. We can procure those as well. Yeah, yeah. Because I'm assuming our crew costs don't cover food, Joe. No, they don't. Gotcha. Okay. Judy, how about um, 20 gold for the journey? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and. Do you, would you want to give us a list of That's ingredients? A lot. <laughs> you fucking asshole. <laughs> How about, um, yeah, a list of ingredients we could get together for you? Of course. Yes. You could just write it down. You don't have to just write it down and we'll pick she it up later. the thing. And slowly moves over to a pad, or well, like a parchment. Takes a quill. And just is slowly writing each letter, taking like 10 seconds. So we'll, we could we'll, come back yeah, and we'll, pick this up. We're gonna <laughs> um, go. We'll be back. Yeah, we'll be back. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> See you soon. Okay. Sick. We have a cook. Hey, you've got okay. A cook. Um. All right. What would you like to look at next? Um. Do we want to try to negotiate with the whispers at all? They told us two hundred gold. We can try. If uh, I don't know just what to say, by the way, because be. we just because we're. I mean, unless you guys don't mind this carrying on to next week and we we do more recruitment there. Uh, just because we only have, it's already at like ten plus yeah. eleven. I'd I'm say sure, do I'm the sure negotiations. We, if we can, I'm, I'm sure if we carry on next week, Brie would. Want yeah. To in, so. yeah. Yeah, that's she's, true. She would then like Bri to could, like have an opinion on stuff. So yeah, we could leave it there, because uh, okay, I know okay. Shane's got to do some stuff today, and then we'll continue for next week, uh, picking up with yeah, all yeah. of the other ones, and then probably setting sail, and, okay, uh, sweet. and seeing you guys in the actual uh, seas with your ship. You still have the quartermaster to go, uh, the bosun, uh, and the surgeon, mm -hmm. which will. Uh, be quite good. You'll, you'll, you'll enjoy their abilities, I'm sure. 
still um, have to confirm with the rest of the everyone who we're going with, so yeah. Bree can still get a chance to say which yeah. one. It gives her a chance as well, yeah, for the sure. Thompson surgeon should yeah. be quartermaster. Okay. Yeah, right, so there's cool. four more. Sweet. Cool. All righty. Well, thank you very much, everyone, for playing, as usual. Um, mm -hmm. We'll do everyone's shout-outs and everything. We'll go around in the list. Uh, and uh, and then we'll uh, we'll end up there. Is anyone going to be going streaming after this, by the way? Nay. No. no. Okay. All good. You okay, so let's go around from Jolly today. <laughs> do you want to give yourself a shout out? Oh, Popper. Did good job. Hey. You did it. Yeah, you did it. <laughs> Girl. Oh, did it. Hi guys, my name is Jari. I'm sure you're not paying attention to me now because there is a cute dog on the screen. Um, at the moment, I'm streaming World of Warcraft Shadowlands. I'm playing a uh, Horde Priest, um, Discipline of Shadow. So if you guys want to watch that, then that is what I'm doing at this moment. Um, but otherwise, usually I do creative stuff. I do a lot of makeup, body paint, um, and traditional art, and some fun stuff like Among Us and Phasmophobia and all that good stuff. So yeah, that's that's what I do. I'm over on Twitch.tv forward slash Jari and Jari on Twitter and Jari328 on Instagram. There you go. Thank Check them out on all of those. Uh, yes. Make sure Mark Jari. Um, yes. Stripping. Yo. What's up, guys? I'm Stripping. You can find me at Twitch.tv slash Stripping every day from 2 Eastern. Um, except when I'm playing D&D, which is, I guess, half the week. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, right now, I'm playing through Shadowlands. I'm enjoying the new WoW expansion uh, with Joe. And uh, if you're interested in joining us, we're playing on One Rest Accord, and we've got, like, a community guild, so. It's true. We just got our Discord. Shadowlands. Yeah, Shadowlands. Shadowlands. Like 700 yeah. strong to, or something. Yeah, it's like 700. That's mad. Feel free, to, feel free to come check it out. Thank you, Joe, as always. Uh, a plus 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 character. <laughs> <laughs> Your um, array of characters is indeed impressive. Thank you. Honestly, yeah, you played so many characters today. So That's true. Appreciate it. I'm, I'm, I, I, I hope the system's fun for you guys because I want you to have like your own ship where you feel like... <laughs> It can kind of, you know, it's been customized by you guys. Um, and if you ever go back to ship stuff, you can always build bigger cannons, get different crewmates, etc., etc. Oh, yeah. um, it's like building a, a keep. Show. It's, it's like yeah. a show. Uh, sh uh, show, good one. Bree's not here, but let's give her a shout out anyway. Uh, Bree Bun over on Twitch. She streams a variety of different games. She's a variety streamer. Uh, I believe that she was doing Phasmophobia recently. I don't know what other games she's playing through at the moment. Probably PlayStation-based games, because I know she's got one of those. But do go and check out Bree. Uh, she streams usually in the evenings of UK time, I think. So probably about 2 p.m. Pacific. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. Um, but she's yep. moving today, so send her your own. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Um, <clears throat> no one enjoys moving. So go and uh, give her some love on the next stream. Dex bonus, Dodger. Hi, everybody. I'm Dodger uh, at Dex bonus on pretty much everything. I stream almost every day. Um, and yeah, like I was saying at the beginning of the show, uh, the Dodger coffee store has an automatic discount of 30% off your entire order for another day. So it's a full day, six hours, something like that left. So if you are interested, if you want some some really good coffee, um then please go check that out but otherwise i'll be here streaming so come hang is that available in the uk by the way i was huh? just gonna ask is it available, yeah, in it's the available UK? everywhere oh mm -hmm. okay we ship everywhere i didn't know that nice do, um, you, uh, do you pay like imports beforehand or, or do people we, do. we pay them oh. beforehand that's oh, dope sweet. okay cool so we won't even get hit with customs charges pog yeah baller if i if i drank coffee dodger i would absolutely buy it <laughs> well she does <laughs> have a range of teas and hot chocolates what tea, you hot actually chocolate, hot chocolate honey, dude we have candles yeah. kind of i'm gonna eat a hot chocolate i <laughs> i wanted i, I really wanted the tea to be called strip teas oh, oh shit, that's genius. pretty good but yeah that's sad maybe one day that will be a, a secret We'll rebrand them. Yeah, we'll rebrand yeah. all of them. Nice. nice. Oh, good for you. I hope that you make lots of sales. Yeah, Thank you. Awesome. Yeah, go and check that out for sure. Shane Hawk. Hi, I'm Shane. I've been playing so much Shadowlands. I can't stop, dude. <laughs> um, I almost got rank four on my legendaries, so that's amazing. I'm five crafts away, so I'm going to hope to do that Tuesday. I wish I was a level All I know is every time Joe says he's logging in, he's like, Shane's on. 
<laughs> sure, Shane, Shane. I gotta make money. Shane's been killing. <laughs> but um, I'm busy all up today. I have to prep for Coliseum later tonight. Kraken's doing. Yes. And uh, I think that's at like three hours from now. Yes. Wait, are, so. you in, are you in tonight's Coliseum? He's the. I'm. Director. I'm the one doing, doing stuff. Yeah. Oh, all right. Coliseuming. So I gotta go behind the scenes real quick for the next few hours and make mm -hmm. sure everything works. Damn. So that's what I'll be doing awesome. today. See you guys. Um, Good luck. Lots of share lines during the week. Old lady gamer. Hello, it's me. I am OLG, and uh, I don't really stream. I might start streaming on Saturday mornings. I don't know. You don't know either. You Just show up on a Saturday morning. If I'm live, I'm live. And if I'm not, you got time back in your day. You could do other cool stuff with. You got played. Yeah, you got played. <laughs> exactly. And if you show up and I'm not streaming, I win. So it's, it's great for me either way. So you right? gotta show up yeah. to find out what the answer is. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta, it's, it's a fun little adventure. Uh, yeah, I don't know. That's me. Uh, shout out to Ovid for not being dead. Ovid. That was yeah, I knew you were going to get Ovid as well. Um, yeah, <laughs> shout out to Ovid. What's up, Pegleg? Awesome. Um, yeah, okay. I'm Joe Fudge. You can find me on this channel. Uh, I'm probably going to be streaming a lot of Shadowlands this week. I'll also be taking a couple extra days off because I am going to be working on next week's Kraken's Coliseum I'm, I'm building. Um, so I've got to put a bunch of work into that this week. Uh, so good luck to you tonight, Shane. Uh, and enjoy it. I think, are you playing, Sam? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, definitely yes. tune into that. Give everyone here, please, a follow, including Bree as well. who couldn't make it today, but she'll be here next week. Um, you can give them a follow, go and watch their, their streams, etc. And uh, also exclamation mark theme if you want to see the guy who made our theme song, which is playing right now. Any fan art you guys make, uh, put it in the Clips and Arts channel on the Discord or just tweet at us and I will add it into the little break screen um, along with retweets and whatnot. Um, other than that, though, uh, exclamation mark patron if you want to see the home booth, if you want to see all of the characters from today, I'll be uploading that in the kind of GM notes, along with all the homebrew and creatures I create, etc. And on that though, thanks everyone for playing as usual, and I'll see you all next week. Bye-bye. Right. Thanks, guys. Bye, see guys. You see you then. Bye-bye. Oh.